for yes, live. So, oh, and for live, yeah. <laughs> Wait, did we well, go live as soon as I said that? Yeah, well, we're live. Oh intro. god, okay. <laughs> it wouldn't be a cunt if we didn't have a shitty intro, but Uga fucking Uga cunts, I'm stealing Schmeckle's joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I don't know what to think. Oh god. Is this, are we supposed to think on this channel? Oh, um, that, pretty sure that was not the purpose back when we used to all stream together. I was going to say, I'm in trouble. <laughs> it's a, but uh, it's the reunion that no one asked for, the Cunstream Originals. It's the one you never asked for, but you never knew you always wanted. Oh, true, true. Unlike Chinese democracy, you will enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike oh, Sexy Schmeckle. Uh, <laughs> well, he doesn't have to do that anymore. He already has Spawn. This is and, true. Yeah, and, say, just just like, and just like North Korean democracy, you have no choice but to watch. Look, <laughs> whether you want to or not, there's a biological need to do it. That's why this stream is brought to you by Tenga Eggs. Tenga <laughs> Eggs. Go fuck yourself. Oh, I miss <laughs> the Tenga Egg plugs. <laughs> Every time, Samaj. So I got a question. Does anyone here know a good animator? Um, I know a decent, okay-ish um, uh, animator. animator. I well, know someone I mean, does 3D modeling, but he's got a lot of projects right now. You can, there's always like, um, uh, what's his name? Oh, yeah, Eagle Raptor. Oh, wait, he's a big guy. Yeah, good luck getting him. Yeah, as you say, good luck getting Eagle Raptor. Jeez. Oh. Um, I would say, as far as good, um, like good animator in our kind of sphere of things, you could try getting in touch with Byro. I don't know who that is. Known to animate a hilarious South Park esque uh, Justin Trudeau. Yeah, I say Byro does the uh, Buttermilk Bandit series. Um, oh yeah. He's worked with Bearing a little bit. Um, he did Bearing and Sugar Tits have both uh, done voice work for his cartoon series. And Jeff um, on it. I don't. Th has Jeff done voice work for him? Oh, maybe not. They just did. He one. He did a video about Jeff, but I, I'm almost positive that was Byro's voice. Okay, I didn't. I didn't see that. I just. I just know Jeff endorses them. Oh yeah, and, um, and Jeff has streamed with Byro several times. Byro's a great kid, um, and I say yeah, kid. I think to, he's like twenty. He's he's young. I'm I'm just trying to get a uh, new intro for my video, and I got an idea, but I need someone who can animate a flag. Oh. Um, you know, you might want to ask uh, Marvis Phyllis because he he Marvin Gaye. <laughs> um, uh, no, uh, Marty, the one that has the, the Roman centurion avatar. Oh, fly, I get you. Oh, you Marty. Always try, uh, you always try yeah. looking up Flag Simulator. There might be a web app that you can use. Yeah, it's true. Is say Marty would be able to point you in the right direction or the right software to do it. I forget what he said he uses for it. Did you, did I could draw a mean direction? stick figure. <laughs> did, did you say one direction? No. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna keep taking words and making really bad references out of them. Well, uh, that's why we invited you, JT. So welcome to life with me. <laughs> I need a helmet. We were not this well, man single here, fellas. Well, uh, Mr. Please. Wiggles might not be using his helmet anymore. You could use that. Oh <laughs> snap! <laughs> Can I make a balloon animal first? <laughs> Mr. Wiggles! <laughs> Marinoid! <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Um, I actually I actually called him on that when I was on a stream with him earlier this week. He's like, yeah, dude. Uh, like, someone's like, what's Mr. Wiggles? He's like, it's a fucking dildo that I stream with. I was like, that I do. But I was just like, Marinoid! <laughs> Marinoid. <laughs> oh, man. So how was it, everyone? Um, I'm better than I deserve, but that doesn't well, mean good. Yeah. All things considered. <laughs> yeah, have you all uh, been since we last streamed together? Anon, you had cancer or something, right? Of course. <laughs> oh, actually, yeah. I, I uh, because of the graveyards, I missed a fucking specialist appointment. I'm the worst, so I have to fuck, make oh, another fuck. one. Now it's back. <laughs> no, <laughs> there was like a three percent chance of it coming back. So. That's three times one, though. It's like three times more than it could have been. That's true. But. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, uh, are we going to have to do another stream and make you cry? No! Uh, for some point, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I, know, I don't know. I, that video was pretty good. We should do it again. 
it was, but I I get weepy enough in my own fucking videos without you assholes adding to that. <laughs> Good point. We should just definitely replay that old video. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Now it might just make me mad. <laughs> well, <Rared>. <laughs> uh, oh, beer belches. Oh, dude, beer belches are the best belches. If you say so. Wine doesn't make for good burps. It just makes for wet burps. <laughs> <laughs> wet burps are not fun. Wet burp is called puke, my friend. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's a little bit of bile mixed with air. That's called pre-puke? It's pre-puke. Oh. <laughs> Except it, it comes without nausea. It's fucking weird. Speaking yeah. Of, speaking of puke, I found a racial determinist. What? Oh, fun! <laughs> oh, fun! Who is yep. it? Is it Yada? Uh, nope. It's uh, called Folkways. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, mother of God. Sounds like I have, I have content for another video. Somebody needs to explain to me what the fuck this is. Oh, oh racial it, determinants it that, mean that uh, your race determines how smart you are and everything else about you. So like Stefan Mo- like Stefan Molyneux kind of shit. Like oh. I would call him a racial determinist. Yes, I, I cannot stand him anymore. I can barely I, stand when he was making the fable games, let alone now. I used Wait, to what? like his videos, but Yeah, so Stefan they... Molyneux was one of the big was one of the big players in the Fable games. No. Yep. These are the kinds of people. It explains that... so much though, doesn't it? <laughs> no, it makes me upset because I really like those games. I like those games, but some of the things about them, like, they got progressively worse. My opinion. I thought the first was by far and away the best. The only thing that got better over time was the graphics. Well, that's... Welcome to gaming. Hey, not every franchise does that. It was really bad. It was like three hours of gameplay. Oh, come on. It was three hours and ten minutes, and you know it. (laughs) Apparently, the designer of Fable... Is Peter Molyneux? Oh, yeah, Peter I Molyneux, not Stefan. Peter Molyneux. Sorry, wrong Molyneux. Yeah. Still. <laughs> Are they related? I don't. I know. don't know. I don't know. I'd rather not. Yeah, I was looking it up to make sure of things, but yeah. Yeah, okay. I was a little confused to be honest. Sorry. Um, zero punctuation. Who does gaming reviews? And he's hilarious. You should definitely check him out. Um, he, he blurs the line between the two of them for, for comedic value. Um, so I don't know if they're related or not, but he seems to heavily imply that they are, whether it's true or not. He's a comedian, so it doesn't matter. Oh my God. Comedians, fucking comedians and improv people. Well, but, um, but zero punctuation is a really great comedian. He's, he's. Imagine I hate everything, but he just focuses on games. Imagine the fact that I cannot, for the life of me, stand people who are, are feminist comedians and improv experts. Oh, this guy This guy doesn't really have a political side besides just making fun of American politics in general, but he doesn't take a side. He just makes fun of both of them. <laughs> there's no such thing as a really feminist comedian. Well, no, 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 no. There's no such thing as a good feminist comedian. No, they, 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 you can't use the word comedian to describe a woman that goes up and bitches about her period. Yeah, there's no face that's funny. Uh, to be a comedian. Yeah, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> does, she, is she, does she make jokes about her period a lot? Uh, most of no her jokes are my vagina, my vagina, my vagina. She makes oh, yeah. a lot of jokes about her copious uh, numbers of black men. Yeah, but heaven help you do. if you ever make a joke about her vagina. Yep. Oh, yeah. She'll Especially the fuck if you're like... You. Especially if you're like a 15 year old kid that makes a joke about spending the night about spending the night with Amy Schumer. Ew. God help you. He made a joke about it on Twitter, and she totally put him on blast for it. I was like, and he was 15. A you know, she makes a lot of jokes about her sex life, but I don't think she has one. I, I think it's probably lacking. In the words yeah, of she's got Betty White, money she's getting laid. In the words of Betty White, she's famous. She, yeah, she can get herself some strange if she yeah. wants some strange. Looking the at her, words. I don't care how much money she throws at me. The world is creating beta males just for feminists. 
In Come the on. words of Betty White, in my experience, those who talk the most about sex are the ones who aren't having it. <laughs> oh, it's true. And you know what? I, I totally agree with Bass Grandma. Bass Grandma. <laughs> yes. Uh, Betty White is fantastic. She no is one church. of my favorite. She's one of my favorite celebrities of her generation. And not just because most of them are dead. <laughs> the wall. I can't. I don't know what's going to happen when she dies, man. Like, the whole world's going to have to come together and be like, look, <laughs> no fighting for at least five minutes. No, it never happened. <laughs> well, I mean, the world didn't gonna, come together when Carlin died, so I think we're hopeless. When, no, when we're going to try to claim her as an icon. When Betty White dies, as soon as she dies, a pylon will come up in her place. A pylon? You must yes. construct additional pylons. Yes, tons more pylons. Get them. <laughs> I'm so confused. It, I I didn't I didn't know where he was going either, but I made a StarCraft reference because it was there. Oh, I don't, seriously, that actually I'm, was my reference there. <laughs> I guarantee you, the second she dies, feminists will try to make her a feminist icon because oh, she's I'm a successful sure. woman who likes to talk about sucking dick a lot. Is hey now, feminist? nothing wrong with that. <laughs> no, no, but but feminists can't agree on anything. Either it's it's cool to be slutty, and or it's not because sexual objectification. But don't tell a woman she can't. But reasons and things and fuck. Carl. Hello. But has Betty White ever actually come out? Like, what up? <laughs> Killed people, Carl. Of course, I kill people. I'm American. <laughs> oh wow. man, I it's love like... Carl the llama. Oh, uh, see, I couldn't find the car, uh, Llamas with Hats gif on Twitter through their gif search, so I'm officially mad at Twitter for that. I just uh, got to Google for all my gifs. And that's um, just for what? Their gifs. GIF is peanut butter. No, nope, uh, nope. the, the creator of it even calls them gifs. <laughs> the creator is wrong. <laughs> Bruno's in the chat, and he just called Rath and, Rath and uh, Huff uh, Canadians. What? <laughs> Bruno, um, Bruno, but, you are now a Mexican. <laughs> my my great grandma is Canadian, though. So. Oh well, yeah. there you go. Amy, I Amy, have no Amy Canadian blood. Fucking Amy Schumer is as Barbie. Anybody? Anybody? Kill Fuck me! You. Kill Wait, me! Are we are we Wait. buying it? A little, no. 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 Well, yeah. I, mean, I wasn't gonna <laughs> buy anything with Barbie in the name beforehand, but. I, Are I you kidding me? Thinking, you you, know, you wouldn't have wrong. gone to see a Barbie movie just to see a really tall, skinny blonde with big tits walk around on screen for two hours? I said, oh, I I wouldn't, I said I'm not buying it. I said nothing about Torrance. I said no, 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 nothing no, no. about Torrance. I thought that they wanted to make a kid's show, not a horror film. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you have something against big tits and blondes? No, A.B. Schumer. Well, no. yeah, I know she's ruining it. But if she wasn't in it, if they actually cast a decent-looking blonde woman, oh, wait, no, no, no. I mean, so, all of you would go see it in the theater. Wait, so it's, you're saying it's, it's if they cast happened. Ivanka Trump? Yes. Um, I wouldn't go see it in theaters, but I I won't speak to how I might view it through online methods. Uh. I might watch it at home, repeatedly. Yeah, I was going to say, um, they, they don't like it when you take your pants off in a theater, <laughs> so I wouldn't... You know, Ask Kiwi Herman about it. <laughs> oh, He'll have a trash can by his feet. <laughs> a trash can? God, it's been a long time since you drained those. <laughs> oh, and man. Dogs. So oh, did man. you guys hear who uh, Andy Worski had on stream today? Oh, yeah, oh, that God. pedophile dude. Wait, what? Yeah, Andy had... Horsky had, uh, no, 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 what's no, the guy's no. name? I don't know. What is pedophile that everyone's been talking about on the stream? Why would you... There's why? some pedo? Who? Um, the guy he made a video about a few days ago. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, the number of YouTubers that I really follow is slim. Thanks. Mine's slimming up. Um, um, Mine's still big. Here, let me let me I'm, pull I'm up. Pulling it. Let's see. Um, Omniped. Seriously, people like okay. Am Amos Yee gave this motherfucker just the courage he needed. Omnipolitics sixteen. Okay. Yeah, Omnipolitics. Yeah. Who is a self-admitted pedophile? Like, 
in the first minute of the stream, they ask him if he's a pedophile. And he's like, yeah. Okay. And Kay. he said his ideal age of girl, because he only likes girls. No, no, so no, I no. guess he's kind of breaking the, the pedo mold there a little bit. So good for him not being Catholic. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but seven. Seven is his ideal age. Yeah, he gave a nice range of uh, three to 12, but seven's the uh, the golden number, what? I guess. Okay. I've made a couple of videos talking about pedophilia, and they need access to help because otherwise they turn into child rapists. No. This fucking yeah. guy they, they, is they, an they, advocate yeah. for child rape. Like, What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, this guy he, is full out is... about how child sexual abuse is not harmful and children they uh, like it. come out of well, it with a positive experience. If it's well, he doesn't right. call it abuse either. He calls it I think mean, he just calls it child sexual contact. Oh. Yep. What? oh my god. He he needs to be drugged behind a truck. They all need to be drugged behind a truck. I mean, we like, just need to have one big giant drag all the pedos behind the truck day. Um, like there's, there's um, can we use the liking, truck of peace? We can, can we use any truck. truck. <laughs> we, can, we can boat of peace. We can plane of peace. We can, we can bike of peace. Drag there, them. I'll, put, I'll put in my effort. There's liking, <laughs> pet, there's liking petite women, and then there's that. You see, yeah, I, no I like I this like petite why... women, but I my personal line is like 21. I'm gonna be honest, like I'm if you 27. Can't get into a bar. I'm 27. My my rule of thumb is less than a less than uh, like honestly, ideally After less than five years seven. younger. Like five years younger than me is my Look. kind of my rule. Once, once you're 21, it should just be pretty fucking simple, or drinking age, or whatever age, and whatever country you happen to live in. Maybe 19 for Canada, but but once you're drinking age, don't fuck with people that aren't of drinking age or older. Exactly. Yeah. Just don't. This is just why. Yeah. See, that's I my role. Giving, this is why I keep giving people shit for calling Onisi on a pedophile because what he's doing is creepy and gross. But it is there's another word for. It's called his, grooming. Yeah. Yeah. It. it and, it's. It is, like, um, it is against the law in some states. It it is if they're not legal age of consent. Yes, and so, some of them aren't. Yeah, some of those are not. Yeah, a lot of a lot of them haven't been. Yes, but yeah. it, pedophiles no, are the fucking know, word for it. There's there is a there is a specific word for it. There are specific charges for it, mm -hmm. and I think the reason he hasn't been investigated is because people. Whoever lives near him, when if they've ever called the authorities, they've they've called him a pedophile, and he's he's not. They've searched his computer before. They've yeah. never found child pornography. The guy is not a pedophile. He's a creepy old fuck who likes to groom very young teenage girls and mm -hmm. then fuck them the second they're old enough. Yep. Big difference say, between fucking say, children and that. Is say Onision is basically he's. He's like he's borderline, but he's never done anything overtly pedophile. He's just walked really, really close to that line. Well, has that's anyone thing. heard his whole he's... egalitarian thing? <laughs> that he now calls himself an egalitarian. Yeah, it's and, a fucking joke. Uh, look, he's had his own religion for God knows how long. So fuck. He's only it's calling just... himself that because of of uh because he thinks that'll get us to listen to him and believe him. No, he, he stated his actual reason for it, and I believe him when he says it. It was kind of funny. He said, and I, I can't quote it, but I, could, I can more or less paraphrase it. He said, I'm an egalitarian, because egalitarian means that you don't discriminate against anyone. And the way he phrased it was basically him just saying, ha ha, I'm calling myself an egalitarian, therefore you can't criticize me or say I'm bigoted. Not... Because I'm not bigoted and support everyone equally, I am an egalitarian. Complete other way around. He's using it as this verbal shield. He doesn't understand that label does not equal fucking immunity. He's still in that like feminist mindset. Oh yeah, he's playing yeah. along the whole mindset of, if I call myself what you guys call yourselves, you can't make fun of me. Yeah, he's in the wrong, yeah. uh, did, wrong didn't sector he, for didn't that. did he say in the same breath? In that same video, that he still thinks women are better than men. Oh Probably. yeah, yeah. That that was he's called himself a feminazi. Dude, he's he's, he's onion son. 
He's uh, using the egalitarian label because of Blair White. That is the only reason she got under his fucking skin and he's having uh, a mental breakdown. <laughs> I hope. Wait, what, did, uh, what did she do recently? Oh, not recently, but whatever. She, it's enough. Like, <laughs> Look, the reality is, is <clears throat> I used to live uh, within a block or two of that son of a bitch. What? Yeah, really? yeah in Tacoma. Um, Wait a minute, you lived on the road that he helped? Uh, I, I'd have to look at that video to determine, because I'm pretty sure he's probably moved since then in that area. I think he's I, up I, in Seattle now. Okay. A, when but, um, people call, anybody in his state can call and, and file a report. He had a really young teenage girl living with him recently. Oh, but, I, I have no clue. Honestly, I, I don't have the time to give two fucks. Like, <laughs> with people like Onion Sun. Um, Onion Sun, Yes, Onion Sun, the god of pedophile potato chips. Um, <laughs> w with him, there's enough people out there paying attention to him that I don't give a flying fuck. The That's only the time thing. I'm ever going to fucking say anything about anything like that is if I see somebody that probably isn't being watched so heavily. He's By the way, being Anon, watched on YouTube. By the way, Anon, um, just a, a teenager just living with someone in the States isn't in itself illegal. No, but, no, no, no. I know, I know that. But um, his behavior is enough to warrant pro real investigation, especially when it comes to his kids. Yeah, but hack, you can get married to a seventeen-year-old if you have the parents' permission in Washington. Wait, did you just Actually, call her you, hack? you may not even need parents' permission at seventeen. He... Did you just call her hack? No, he's talking. No, no, no. Hack, he was responding to Hack's comment in the chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because um, uh, she did come and he did marry a 17 year old, but but he's right with oh, parental yeah. consent. I think it's 16 or older. Yeah, should the parents sign off on it? In Washington was, State, uh, the age of consent is 16 uh, with somebody who is no less than one year younger or no more than two years older than you. When you turn 18, you can no longer have sex with a 16 year old. You have to have sex with somebody who's 18 or older. Oh right, the the Romeo and well, Juliet unless thing. Unless they're seventeen, like if they're no. seventeen, you can be no. as old. Well, it, no, it, really, you marry them though. Well, yeah, yeah, okay. Marriage yeah. is entirely different. You can marry after sixteen in Washington. He moved her states to where it was legal to have sex with her. No, he moved after. her to the state that he lived in. Like, let, okay, like yes, that's true. What you're but saying. He also but moved. Not for that purpose. I mean, he also it is, moved. But it's not. Yeah, but he yeah, also but he, moved. But all around Washington State. No, he was in L.A. originally. No, he was in no. Tacoma for a bit. Yeah, was he in Tacoma too? He was. Yep. I know he was in L.A. and he moved from L.A. because he, he lived in L.A. Off. for like two and years. I'm glad he's out of my city. <laughs> he pissed off all the YouTubers that lived in L.A. But um, statutory. But I don't <laughs> like. I know a lot about the statutory rape laws in Canada. Mm -hmm. but I don't know a lot about how it works in the states, and it's different. It's obviously different per yeah. State. And Washington is very weird. Washington like, is very weird. In Canada, legal age of consent in BC is sixteen. Well, uh, means, legal age of consent in Washington State is sixteen. Yeah, but like as, you can still get uh, charged with statutory rape, but the the person that you're sleeping with has to press the charges it basically takes the power away from the parents and well see and that's pretty much the same thing for washington state except for up to uh, up to 18 if the parents don't consent then yeah there's yeah there's no there's no limit on that it is solely up to the per the teen at that point to consent and if they feel they were taken advantage of before they turn 18 they can actually press their own statutory mm -hmm. rape charges like, but they have to press the charges. Parents can't do it on their behalf anymore yeah. after the age of 16. So, with all of this pizza talk, I'm actually ordering a pie. <laughs> so, um, ah, segue into conspiracy theories. What the hell should pizza I order? Gate. Pizzagate! You should order a, a seven-year-old redhead. I think they call that the Bill Clinton. Oh, God, please, no! <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think redheads are pepperoni. <laughs> Is redhead the pepperoni? I think so. Redhead's you, have order, you have to order a seven times pep. There you <laughs> go. The seven times pep. Seven, seven times pep. 
What's, yeah, what's and then the, seven uh, times the number of pepperonis. Pepperonis. So seven times and, pep. And then ask for Marco. If you don't ask for Marco, you're going to get a really shitty pizza. So oh. you're going to get a pizza that's more pepperoni than pizza. But if yep. you ask for Marco, you're going to get what you're looking for and some prison time. But we, we never <laughs> said this. No, no. But, but nobody this ever never happened. This you never guys happened. should be careful. We know there are pedophiles on YouTube. Any of our guests could be one. Oh, oh, no. I wouldn't be surprised. Wow, I'm looking at butter nut. We, <laughs> <laughs> we especially have to be concerned that they turn out to be uh, Minecraft Let's Players. Ooh, you know, actually, oh, butter nuts just a suggestion for pizza. Barbecue chicken with pineapple. I'm currently doing uh, Hawaiian with a barbecue sauce drizzle. Nice, nice. I'm yeah, actually, I, I so. like sausage, I'm so bacon, glad. and barbecue sauce with pineapple. I'm so glad I'm not the only one that loves pineapple on pizza. It's for the hey, only I, place I, that I, I don't like pineapple anywhere else. Only yeah, on pizza. Pineapple, pineapple apple pen? Too, though, is on a teriyaki chicken burger. That, mm. I, I order without. I, I <laughs> Oh, Guess who's getting jalapeno poppers? Dude, teriyaki you know, chicken well, burger with guys, a pineapple slice hungry. on it? That reminds me of the time I was in Hawaii. That was... Mm. Oh, Hawaiian burger. Yeah. Long pig? No. <laughs> pig. <laughs> Get this out of my pants. Again. Schmeckle, 10,000. <laughs> Get that. 10,000. Like, take a jackhammer and jackhammer that shit into your brain. Or I'll do it for you. It'll be fun. Hey, getting jackhammered by, by rat. By you all heard it. Eggs. Go <laughs> fuck yourself. That's already been done, but thank you for reminding us. Hey, it's never <laughs> done enough. No. Oh, Tango eggs wait, will zero, always need... Tango eggs, because disproving rape culture has never been so fun. Or affordable. <laughs> or eggs. affordable. Then maybe you won't have to fuck kids. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so here's a question. Here's a question. And this I, this has been brought up a few times, and, and, and it's been brought up on both sides of the feminist slash non-feminist slash everybody else aisle. If they make, you know, sex robots, is it unethical? Or, I guess, unethical? Is it objectively or subjectively wrong to make child ones for pedophiles? I, Who cares? Uh... Oh, I will ask the tough and awkward questions. And, and well, uh, I don't think it's illegal to make them, okay. but I think that, that we just made uh, To Catch a Predator really easy. We just track everyone who orders one, and uh, we we send them uh, we, we send them a couple uh, of cops instead of a sex robot. No, no, here's, here's the well, thing. Well, um, I, I think it might actually, be, might actually be a good outlet, possibly. No, no, check this out. Check this out. You build the sex robots with little DNA samplers inside of them. The pedo oh, ones, gee. right? Like just the pedo ones. So that way, anytime there's a sex crime with a child, you've already got all the fucking pedos DNA. Ooh, that's thing. actually brilliant. I really like that. That's there, There's a quote from someone. I can't remember who it is. Maybe the chat can help me out. Who basically said, if you reduce an actual child to that of a cartoon, you are really fucked up. Wait, what? Like they were advocating for um, animated child pornography, basically as an outlet for people who suffer with from pedophilia. Well, okay. here, all right. Well, here, here's the thing. I, I always like to say is, if there's an outlet, chances are the actual acts themselves might go down. One example being video games. The more violent the video games got, the less crime actually happened. Exactly. And when the porn industry blew up. While less rapes and stuff started happening, which would you know d defeats the purpose of the feminists who say there's a rape culture. Well, because well, they started saying that control. in 2000. Well, they started saying that in 2010, but then the porn industry really blew up around that time as well, and I, you know, rape went down, 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 down. Yeah, but it's an issue of self-control because let's be yes. real. If you give people who can't stop raping somebody a bunch of fucking porn and make it way easier, they're not going to have the self-control to do anything besides fap all day while not going out and raping. Well, it, like I don't think you need to be a rapist uh, to lose your self control to I, do anything other than fap all day. I didn't <laughs> say you needed to be. We were only specifically speaking of them at the moment. Okay. Japan. As long Japan. as nobody's confused and thinks I'm not going right now. <laughs> no, no, we fucking we're hope so. Well aware. Well um, aware. Yeah, Japan I was gonna has say, all that I was gonna stuff. Say, Schmeckle, you got to pay attention to distinctions of the lowest with Carl. rape statistics <laughs> of. Anyone basically, like they're what? so low. Japan, their their rape statistics oh, yeah. are 
so low because they're very they're very open with sexual shit. Because he's already sure somebody alone for any period of time. There's so many fucking people. North Korea oh, yeah. had the lowest rape rate of all. It's yeah. zero. North Korea <laughs> is perfect. It is. <laughs> we trust <laughs> all the statistics that come from that country. <laughs> it, did you know that in North Korea, the literacy rate is 100%? Hey, what if we tricked all the refugees <laughs> that were going to Europe onto barges and sent them to North Korea? Oh, they would love. They would get nukes further than twenty miles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it's like North Korea. North Korea would have a better a better chance of hitting someone with a nuke by changing their delivery system to two guys in a canoe. <laughs> hey man, canoes are quiet. Who I, wants I, I would to bet? At this point, you're no, 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 I wasn't joking. You guys are laughing. I wasn't joking. That's just Who wants just to bet fuck. they try? They try to. Oh. What did you say? I said, "Who wants to bet they're going to try to nuke South Korea?" They won't. They, um, that's going to be their first um, fucking target. They won't no. because the fallout. You don't think yeah. so? Well, that that and far tip. enough south. <laughs> Well, that and as much as some people like to say that they fear North Korea, North Korea has a boss. And that boss is China, and China told them to knock that shit off with the whole nuclear testing stuff. That's why yep. we don't hear about it anymore. China is the only reason that North Korea isn't done. Yeah, yeah. I was saying North Korea would be a crater if they didn't listen to China. That's no, pretty much the end of the conversation. Unified Korea again. Like, it, it still is. Mind you, North and South Korea are not actually separate countries. They're just two political parties that hold control of two different sections of unified and glorious Korea. <laughs> that's you fantastic. Laugh, Let's go to North Korea. No, that's, that's screwed up how it is. Like, it's like the most beautiful place in the world, and like, it's perfect. Imagine, like, imagine if the Democrats ran the North half of America and the Republicans ran the South. Just as an example. It's not accurate, but as an example. That's pretty close. <laughs> yeah. Well, Actually, it's kind of close, but reversed. Yeah, the, I was going to say, the Republicans would be around. the South, um, besides Florida, because Florida's weird. It's because it's it's really sad at being America's dick, because it's so small. Well, no, no, Florida's, Florida's Are you problem. calling, like, a fucking 500, 600 mile long penis small? Jesus well, have you seen Christ, you barely have not seen her vagina. Have yeah, you I was gonna seen say, Canada say, can... raping America? I was gonna say, Kendrick Lamar wants to fuck the world with the Eiffel Tower. We could fight the world with Florida. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I don't know what part of Canada is fucking America, but I'm gonna go find out. It's I'm part gonna go of Quebec, I believe. Ontario, by the is way, it Ontario. I thought it was part yes. of Quebec. I don't know you guys' provinces that well because no, it's definitely us. Why it's, it's do we let you be a country? <laughs> we just didn't want to be apart from England. Fuck you guys. You were you were too addicted to the queen's teat. That's right. Hey yeah. man, we like on good terms, all right. I mean, I I'm down with just making each of the provinces states and letting Quebec be their own country, like they want to be. I'm, I'm telling you right now, if that happens, I'm invading Quebec on my own and winning. It looks like it's it looks like it's Toronto. <laughs> can I help? Well, yeah, actually, right. You're if you well, can come Carl, you won't now. need to help. Like your help will be giving JT one of his one of your guns. That's what I mean. And he wins. I mean. Any one of them. And and a couple of rounds of ammo, like like literally like maybe maybe a half of a ten stack. <laughs> so maybe five. Is that you, you half load a ten stack and send it, and send that to him? Pretty um, much. I mean, it'll turn to India instantly because there'll be nothing but piss and shit in the streets. But <laughs> I mean, I'll uh, and and I'll help fund him as well by getting him a Make America Great Again hat. That's what we'll do. Oh yeah, and we need to, we need to bring like five or six MREs for him. Just you know, because. I have some MREs lying around, so I'll send them. I'll send them MREs so we can well, both uh, you're fund the to camp Quebec out invasion. For like three days, because it's going to oh. take you like three days to take all of Quebec. You have to walk across it. You know what I mean? Oh fuck yeah! You got to go see a city, just telling them, "Hey, by the way, guys, do you see this gun? It has here four now. bullets in it. I had five earlier. There was a guy who laughed. <laughs> Don't be like Jacques, okay? Don't be Jacques. <laughs> it's like, we, "Don't be." We, it's like, "Don't be Justin." Not Jock Justin. Don't be Justin. <laughs> Sorry, too soon. I need poutine. And now. I just ordered my pizza. Um, is that what the kids are calling climaxing now? Yep. <laughs> no, no, no. That's that's the thing he will climax inside of. Ah, uh -huh, so that's the right. zone. 
<laughs> well, you Full did order the, the seven times pepperoni, right? I didn't. I didn't say anything. I I ordered the Hawaiian. I wanted you a surprise. You didn't tell Marco did High for me. So you didn't no. tell Marco High for me, though. You dick. We'll do. Extra pineapple means you get a Polynesian girl. <laughs> when he delivers, or I mean, when he delivers the pie. I mean, when he delivers the pizza. Oh damn. Oh, so what you're saying is you're just a rapist, not a pedophile. So you'll just kidnap the driver and fuck the shit out of whoever that happens to be, not order a kid in a pizza. Yeah, I'm not or picky. Marco. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's good. Makes more sense. That's, uh, you know, it's probably safer to have uh, lower standards. Ambition is the enemy of success. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Apparently, I why didn't know wine. Failure is your best <laughs> And that's not true. There are cool parts of Canada. No, there aren't. Oh, yes, there, yes, there are. Yes. There. There's the part lodged okay. inside the state's rectum. Uh, um, <laughs> Kamloops. <laughs> fucking um, Kamloops? Are you kidding? Fucking Fruit Loops. Fishing. That's all. Okay, there's fishing. fishing all over Canada. That's decent. It does not make it cool. Well, it's for me because I have friends in Kamloops. So do I. They don't live in a cool part of Canada. There's no such thing. Well, look. Uh, Carl, if you want good fishing hope. and good shooting and good ATV trails and good country, yeah, I'll head to New Brunswick. Oregon. Everyone you go to head to New Brunswick. Or actually, Alaska. Honestly, one of my favorite places in the world is actually in Canada, but it's really, really remote. It's uh, called Redondo Island. Redondo Island. <laughs> it's up on the uh, just up north of Vancouver Island. Um, it's just. It's just oh, a is that where all the homeless people live? No, no. You can only access this by boat. Homeless people don't have boats. <laughs> that is a good point. Yep. Uh, I've met very few homeless people with boats. No, I mean, and I'm making a big boats, but I assume. I'm, I'm making a big distinction here between refugees and homeless people. <laughs> I was gonna is say. there a difference? Yes. I mean migrants Continent. and homeless people. No, no, they're refugees. The refugees. <laughs> Not the refugees. <laughs> Ooh la la la. That's the sound that they sing when the refugees sing. If, if, I, if I could give anybody tips on when they go to Canada. Just turn around to the foot border? No, just don't, don't, just don't That's believe anything don't go there. anybody says about Vancouver. It's no, a Vancouver's a fucking cool. cesspool. And I've spent yes. more. And Surrey is even worse, okay? No, it's not. Yes, yeah, hey, anywhere named show. after a place in, in England. Can't trust it. Yeah, well, that's why New York's such shit. There's Surrey and Richmond. <laughs> I think there's a few right around Vancouver that are all sort of named about, but like after cities in England. Oh, like Harrison. Yeah. Yeah. Harrison. Well, I mean, BC has a Houston. No, I know. I, I, I've it, been to BC yeah. probably 50 or 60 fucking times. I used to live like 20 miles from the border. I live in BC. I'm so yeah. sorry. <laughs> you're surrounded by Asians that can't drive. Your life is at risk. Anytime well, I don't live in Richmond. <laughs> Come to BC. <laughs> Get I don't hit live in Vancouver either. either. Nobody wants to fucking live in Vancouver. Come to BC. We have a and Vancouver and most... Washington just above Portland. Oh god. Yeah, that's right. Is it as much of a hole as our Vancouver is? Oh yes, it, it's a methy shit hole though. <laughs> oh, so is, so is this Vancouver. Have you like? Uh, when, this is this is a little more methy, a little less heroin and Asian. But at least they have Dutch Brothers. All yeah. the Asians are in Richmond. Is it? Have They're they not in Vancouver. Okay, because you know, now you'll you'll have to pardon me, but I haven't been there in probably four years. But the last time I was there, just like for the past fucking twenty years that I can remember, it's been nothing but fucking slopes and and fucking that, nice people <laughs> and heroin addicts in the gaslight district. Okay. That was about it. Okay, Vancouver is a very tiny part of the lower mainland surprisingly yep. richmond is attached to vancouver it is yep. full of chinese people asian people that's where they all conjugate okay so so richmond Oops. is kind of like the chinatown of of uh, canada yes and and um surrey is like india yep yep that's where all the indians are yep. and uh the indians oh, God. The Asians are in Richmond. I just said the that. The engines. Oh, the engines. They're, yeah. They're well, those are actually out near like Kamloops and shit. They're just pushed out of Vancouver. <laughs> we don't let them near the cities anymore. Yeah, they, they A, can't afford to live there, and B, want nothing to do with the white devil. 
<laughs> well, they kind of they kind of cluster in one tiny area of Surrey now. Oh, do they? Uh, yeah. Is it like a giant trailer park with people drinking Windex? No, they're mansions, and they fucking cram like 15, oh, yeah, 20 yeah, yeah. people that's, in them. That's because your, your government gives them money, don't they? Yes. Yeah. Oh, God. Don't, don't, don't I get... wish I was a native. Don't, I, I'm like, I'm way up in northern BC in one of the bumfuck little towns. Nice. Is, yeah, <laughs> it's much better than there, but I've been there a lot, and... Wait, wait, by bumfuck little town, are we talking like yellow knife bumfuck? Oh, worse than that. <laughs> oh, I love yellow knife. Um, but yeah, well, no, of course you like, love yellow knife. You hunt. I do not. I no, do. No, no, no. Oh, Eric okay. does. <laughs> I was going to say, I do not. <laughs> I like moose. If I'm going to eat it, I don't want to shoot it first. Oh, I'll shoot it. Actually, by, like, by, moose by burgers are chance, really good. Are, are you up near Whistler and Blackcomb? No, that's way too okay. close to Vancouver. I said northern BC. Just checking. No, no, no. Just checking. Just, Some people don't even... Make sure you're not in a cesspool. We were like, past, I think I know like, where you are, but like, I'm not going to go there. Yeah, like yeah. Oh. past Prince George far away. <laughs> like, yep. uh, by the way, speaking of, of traveling places... I may end up coming up to uh, to Oregon at some point, Carl. Well, devil worship shall ensue. Oh, For by sure, the way, dude. since since it's already we're two hours off from the deadline uh, for the se- second section, the raffle prizes are still up. Wait, what? There's there's raffles to be done. Are you still trying to be a good human being for like yeah, charity? Yeah, working on it. Like yeah, working oh. on that. Ugh. Slow God, but it's so cringy. Why can't just, you just, just be a cunt just like the rest of us? Milo take everything and run, but you know, until then. Oh, take the money and run. Uh, for those in the audience that don't know, JT is uh, doing the BSCM ride for change, uh, which is a charity thing to raise some money in support of men's suicide. Uh, JT's gonna yes, in support uh, of suicide, directly advocating <laughs> for. <laughs> uh, all your money I think game. the words you were looking for was yourself. men's mental health <laughs> and suicide prevention. But yes, that was what I meant. That was exactly what I meant to say. <laughs> JT is not actually killing anybody. Well, no, uh-huh. it's a suicide advocacy. Remember, I, I let them do it themselves. See, and that's the plan. Everybody donates everything that they have to JT. <laughs> And then they and then, kill themselves. And then JT can use them as more foundation to go, look, men are killing themselves at alarming rates. Give me all your money, more money. to end this. <laughs> and then you there just are no want to, to kill themselves. I want to commit genocide and get rich at the same time, okay? Um, what, do we, what do we call that? Richicide? <laughs> no, we just call that smart business. I mean, I mean, it's either that or televangelism, one of the two. Oh, no, nah, televangelism okay. actually doesn't kill people. It just rots their brain. They're still That's not and true. steals all well, their money. Well, I don't know. There are people that have gone bankrupt giving all their money to televangelists. But oh, still God. People. Do you remember that family that sold their house and everything they owned to mm-hmm. drive across America in their trailer with their kids because they thought the world was coming to an end? Yep. Because Armageddon! I, I was born and raised a Jehovah's Witness, and we went through a few Armageddons and Really? Oh, okay, yes. so um, I I wish I had the file that's on my other computer, um, but I have a list of all the apocalypse predictions, and as long as there's one in the next few months, there will still be more predictions than years I've been alive in the years I've been alive. Yeah, Damn. yeah. If there's another one this year, there will be. There have been 28 since 1989. I mean, there were like five around the year 2000, though. So, yeah, so that yeah. really helped. That helped the numbers really good. <laughs> Jehovah's Witnesses are the only religion I cannot tolerate. Like, I have been offended so fucking badly by them that I will just not even fucking put up with them. Well, thank fucking God for some rational thought there, because most people I talk to are like, but they're so polite. No, 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 no. Let me explain to you something about Jehovah's Witnesses. And, and I will, you, you know this. Let you me don't explain know. to you, the former Jehovah's Witness. Yeah. <laughs> something about Jehovah's Witnesses. I yeah, then, I, then I bashed it up and said everybody else. Yes. Okay. So. I, I, yeah, I, I, will, I could shock you with the things I've... I've oh, wait, oh, I, 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 we'll, we'll see. It, so, oh, it's it's coming. I have I have pages written about it. it <sighs> as soon as I can edit, I'm going to dump so much 
horror. If you think the Mormon church and the Catholic oh, no. church is bad, they have nothing on Jehovah's Witnesses. Nothing. Agreed. But I'm, I'm only speaking on their personal character, which is uh, fucking disgusting <laughs> as people. Yeah. Like, yes. so basically, um, about, about 10 years ago, my best friend was murdered, shot in the face, and I was shot in the leg, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I get out of the hospital. My girlfriend at the time, her mother is a Jehovah's Witness. Her father is not. Um, me being pretty fucking doped up on pain meds and just trying to be civil, decided to say, you know, they were like, oh, we're sorry about your friend, yada, yada. And, uh, you know, I made the passing comment of, eh, he's probably in a better place right now. Simply oh, because, man. you know, that's just something that you generally say that just slides under the radar for everybody. It's not particularly offensive. You know what I mean? Like, and uh, she looks at me dead in the fucking eye and goes, no, he won't. He's not one of the saved. What? This is the day I got out of the hospital, like a week after my best friend was murdered, after I got out of surgery, limping around in a fucking cast in in a wheelchair. That's that's not even a good Jehovah's Witness. Because, well, you know what they teach? They teach that if you haven't heard the truth you get a second chance if you die before you have heard the word of god you get a second chance at armageddon Mm -hmm. actually everybody gets a second chance at armageddon according to jehovah's witnesses like armageddon happens and god goes god goes you believe in me now are we good because i'll let you in paradise if you if you repent now it's okay (laughs) one second one second so so the, the God I've always been asking for, the one who actually at some point says, hey, look, look, proof that I exist, would you like in now? That's the Jehovah's Witness one. Yeah. Mormons are that way, too. Talk some people in suits and ties. I'll be right back. <laughs> no, <I don't. laughs> you know, okay. Mormons are that way, too. Like, they basically believe that if you're not, um, if you weren't given the opportunity to, to join the church, theirs is kind of weird. They're like, Dude, they baptize you after you're dead. Yeah, it's true. What? Yes, and and they don't even have to know you. What famous like, person dude. did they do that to recently? It pissed me off so bad. Oh fuck! Every um, single one. Uh, I think they did it to Abraham Lincoln at one point. They, they, yeah, they, um, they, Abraham yeah. Lincoln. They did <laughs> in the nineties. Yeah. Uh, see, now, when I heard that, that's like that's like the definition of crazy. That's like what? what? I think no, it might. I think it might no, have been Carrie Fisher. Actually, I think you're right. Oh, yeah. um, you know. Oh. I'm yeah. I'm not Mormon anymore, so I'm not in, on the I'm not on the in as far as like them talking about that shit. But I do remember when I still had access to uh, church records and shit. I looked up and uh, what was his name? It was Buddy Hall. It was Buddy Holly. Buddy <laughs> Holly has been baptized eighteen times. Eighteen wow. times. They really want to make sure he gets into Mormon heaven. No. Wait, no. I mean, Mor- I mean, Mormons? I love his music. Don't get me wrong. Buddy Holly was awesome, but, but 18, eighteen times. Mormons get their own planets. So does he have eighteen planets now? Ooh. Dude, he oh, was no, such a legend. One. They needed to baptize him eighteen times just to get the job <laughs> fucking done. <laughs> what? It's like what? you could never baptize him enough to save his soul. That's why he will live forever. <laughs> what planet does um, Eric is not wrong. <laughs> what planet does God live on? I can't fucking I can never remember the uh, name. God God it's not that he lives on a planet, it's that the closest celestial body to where God lives is Kolob. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Kolob? I can never remember. Yes, Kolob, which um Kolob. I think Poland. Like Kolob. No, Kolob. Which Kolob, okay. at the time that Joseph Smith was was uh, so was alive, prophet. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> but right, but um, <laughs> at the time he was alive, Kolob was believed at the time to be the oldest celestial body, which is it's just coincidental that <clears throat> that the uh, astronomers of the time call uh. Uh, named that the quote unquote oldest celestial body that that was when it, the revolution came out <laughs> that that's where God was. It's kind of like that's convenient as shit. But I mean, if you look at Mormon's <laughs> beliefs, a that's lot of their beliefs are shit. convenient as shit. Oh, I always I love making <laughs> underwear jokes to Mormons. The best. What? See, Mag- no, uh, the, no, everybody needs the temple garments. Uh, um, magic underwear. Yes. Magical underwear. 
I yeah, met they, a guy they on them a... to be sacred. They're symbolic of a commitment <laughs> made within the Mormon temples yep. um, that supposedly no. protect them. But I know several people who have died wearing them. <laughs> yep. I, I I have a, a feeling that that the the church kind of slipped a metal like tag into it, and they were just struck by lightning or some shit. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't I don't know how lightning would be incorporated to a combat death, but sure. So, a uh, question: <laughs> The Mormons, man, was, was, Scientolo- was Scientology started by a Mormon? Then, no, um, no, L. Ron Hubbard uh, is not Mormon. Because was not Mormon, he's dead. Although L. Ron Hubbard also has been baptized by the Mormons, and that one amuses me to no end. Oh yes. <laughs> I just want to okay see when they go after though. what's his name, uh, Anthony Slave Salazar or whatever, fucking the Satanist dude. Oh god. Have they baptized well, I mean, they, Christopher Hitchens? Um, I don't know, but they baptized Hitler Wait. several times as well. What? Adolf Hitler has been baptized. Um, Ooh, I don't know how many times. I know it's plural. I don't remember oh, the good. number. Good. Now he's going to Das Hinterland. Yeah. No, he's yeah. going to his own planet. <laughs> Billy's awake. Uh, and I, I promise you, there will be no Jews on on Hitler's planet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> one teased double a bit. So I can't go there. There'll be no one. To oh, bang. the the Jewish ladies that are hot can go there. He's okay with that. Oh, speaking of of attractive Jewish ladies, God damn it, Sarah Silverman. <laughs> Ew! No. You said Ew. she was attractive. Go okay. away. Okay, back in like the School of Rock days, I would have hit that. I oh, could fucking boy. I could park a semi truck in her nostrils. Hey, Bill. Um, paper bags are a thing, Anon. Paper hey. bags are a thing. I, I bet you as, she has gross nipples. I was known as the Jew banger, okay? And I will tell you right now, I wouldn't bang that Jew. See? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, cool. See, I, I never had gross. a nickname associated with the ethnicity of women I banged, so I, I guess you got me beat. <laughs> I loved Jewish girls. Billy. They were oh, God. <laughs> oh, I'm getting beclemmed. Discuss amongst yourselves. I'll give you a topic. <laughs> the cultural revolution was neither cultural nor revolution. I discuss. <laughs> Look who. I can only assume the best part is when they say, "Oh, come on, whip out your schmackle." <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you're getting schmutz all over my face. Oh God. <laughs> oh, God. oh, see, see, um, Elaine from Seinfeld. She is okay. I actually. No. Jesus yeah, fucking too. Christ! What's wrong with you, woman? <laughs> Thank you you. Are, he said fucking Sarah Silverman was attractive. Shoot me. Sarah Silverman <laughs> over Elaine any day. No. no. Agreed. You know what really bothers me about Sarah Silverman? It's when I realized that she plays, uh, what's her name in Wreck-It Ralph, or Vanellope yeah, Von Schweetz. Ignore it. It makes I, the movie so much better. <laughs> well, here's I, the, yeah, I, I honestly don't really, really, really care about, about the voice that. actors in animated movies. I, I, I couldn't give a fuck less. So, Schmeckle, have we found our new question? <laughs> Elaine or Silver Sarah or Silverman? <laughs> Julia right. Louise Dreyfus or Elaine? Or sorry, or, or Sarah Silverman? Sarah Silverman is fucking gross. She has the hugest nostrils I have ever seen on a woman. Paper bags are a thing. I'm also, telling you, extra holes to put your dick is not a bad thing. No woman that if you like boogers on your dick, that's your own thing. <laughs> okay, okay, you're you're running the risk of getting shit on your dick when you put it in a girl's ass, and people love that shit. Yeah, but that's gross. That's also gross. Unless you're German, it's unacceptable. <laughs> Condoms, yo. Yes, exactly. shit on on anything in the bedroom. Super hot. Look, it, for me, like it doesn't matter. I'm not the one who's cleaning the sheets. So <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> if yeah, you don't, you ain't getting a sandwich. That, uh, if she knows it's good for her, she'd be making me that sandwich. What are you up to, JT? Huh? He's making himself a nut sandwich. <laughs> mm, <laughs> sandwich. Well, I'm actually waiting suffer. for the peach to get here. So. Exactly. Seriously, though, Sarah Silverman probably has the nastiest vagina. No woman that's that scrawny has a decent vagina. Not true. Uh, oh, I've not known true. Some very um, um, have, um, agree like, to disagree. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm I, 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 I refuse to believe it. <laughs> Just say, I'm, I'm sorry, like, you're going to have to find a better reason than because she's thin. Yeah, yeah. No, no, because she's thin I is about scrawny. the thinnest logic I've ever heard. I said scrawny, intended. not thin, scrawny. Like yeah. Jacqueline Glenn is fucking gross. I bet she has a gross vagina. I did that. I'm I'm still on, on board with you on the whole Elaine over Sarah Silverman, but and and I think I she probably does have a pretty nasty cooch, but I don't think it's because she's skinny. It's probably because she shoved too much stuff in it. 
All right, yeah. so here's that, the thing. That's a more reasonable argument. It's more Who real. wants to see Billy given a T-R-E-A-T? Of course. Say the word. Uh, Don't really? say the word. My cat's I'm not saying the word. Say the word. Treat. Right. Treat. Billy. Billy, do you want a treat? They you got to say yes. Right through it. Billy, do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Oh, yeah, you lick your mitt lips. Okay, fine. <laughs> like, I'm not going to fucking answer you. Just give it to me. Do you want a treat? Like, just, just feed me, bitch. <laughs> All right, Bill. Do you All want of a sudden, ten extra viewers. <laughs> you want to? Oh. You know uh, he said yes. That was, Are I you heard sure? It. Oh, oh, you're sure? Oh. Okay, say please. Okay. By the way, is there a possibility of Carl Cam? No. Oh, bummer. There you go, folks. He's been given a treat. If you want me to, if you want him to get another one, you have to donate five dollars to my fucking fundraiser. That is the worst thing I've ever <laughs> heard. Ever. The kitty stars. <laughs> he, he will get another treat if we get a five dollar donation. <laughs> Donator, the cat starves. <laughs> hey, Bill. <laughs> Billy, do you want him to donate? One sec. Let's ask him again. It's like, no, I just want more fucking food. I know, he's like, why don't get $100 of donations in the next 10 minutes? I'm we're cooking the cat. cat. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, we're, we're going to have Roast Billy live on stream. <laughs> okay, he can have one more, but just so you can see the joy in his eyes. After that, it's going to take a donation. Dude, Billy? you're going to be a terrible parent. You give in too easily. Billy, do you want a treat? Him. He's cuter than any kid. I wouldn't Billy, worry about it too treat? much. I, I don't no. think that somebody that's half man and half Canadian can actually reproduce sexually, so we don't have to worry. I about mean, it. I don't know. Futter has kids, so we I think we might have debunked that theory. Oh, hey, you keep your hands down, Mister. Yeah, but you can only do it with other Canadians. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's how we keep the race. Would you like pure. it? <laughs> yeah, but see, he's a crazy okay, Canadian okay. person. So. If, really, if I treat? believed in racial purity, that would be the one race that I would make an exception for. <laughs> of mix that shit up. Bill, treat. <laughs> but I, I don't believe in racial purity because honestly, it I I believe that racial purity is you know the building blocks <laughs> of genetic inferiority. Personally, oh, he lost it. I gotta help him find it. Or just yes. give him another oh, one. Get to a genetic bottleneck. Oh yeah, that. Well, often. that's what I that's what I mean by like genetic inferiority is that you genetically bottleneck the species. We could just stop breeding so much. That Did might you know help. All of Canada is a genetic bottleneck. <laughs> there, there are well, I mean, it can't be worse than Alabama. Oh yeah, it is. You've never seen Regina or Moose Jaw or Yeah, stop by anywhere in BC sometime. Or or Well, Saskatchewan. I mean, people people voluntarily live in a city called Regina, so I can believe it. Flashlight. I don't think any of them are voluntarily. <laughs> they just happen to be born there and now they're stuck. Pretty much, well, there's, there's a nothing but a train run. going in and out of there anyway. Oh, All right, guys. Mean, it sounds I'm like the setup of like a Hills right. Have Eyes sequel. Okay. Wait a minute, okay, what's now let's he talk doing? shit about him now that he's gone. So speaking of Regina, you know that place is kind of just one of those things where you laugh at it while you're driving on the, you know, on the one or whatever your trans Canadian highway is. <laughs> trans you point at it, and you go Regina. That sounds like vagina, <laughs> and you never stop. Hey, yes. <laughs> And any Nobody wants to go to Regina. Never leaves. Oh, you mean like Intercourse, Missouri? Yeah, it's kind of like a trap. And not, it doesn't not have the, a penis, though. Yeah, not that kind of trap, I was saying. Like, <laughs> and say, not the chicks with dicks variety. No, no, like <laughs> the, the, the old trap hay, you know. Oh, man, the amount of people upset about the chicks with dicks thing. Dear God. Okay, so... I don't know why people are upset. Dick. I thought that was fucking hilarious. Because yeah, people are... Like People are saying that he preyed on Steve's good heart, and I'm sitting here going, oh, "No, he." I was like, "What good heart?" He preyed on his fucking gullibility. That, yeah, he, no, no, his personal bias. He thinks he hates anyone that says they're an anti-feminist so much that he actually thinks they would assault a trans person. Yeah, and or, encur or encourage it. Yeah. All done, Bill. Yeah, fuck, no more. Fuck, fuck Steve Jives. Like, His penis has sucked onto the inside. He now has a mangina. <laughs> well, I mean, I think he penis. has a mangina after his Valentine's Day incident. 
No, I'm Wait, saying this, this happened years ago. As soon as he married that foul beast. <laughs> oh God! Watching the two of them in videos together is is it Dude, makes it's it literally like Stockholm syndrome. It, yeah, it yeah. actually makes me feel bad for him, and then I realize he's a a, a grown ass man who's just a piece no. of shit. No, I'll say this: there are plenty of people who stay in a bad relationship and literally change everything that they are mm-hmm. because they don't feel that they're worthy of love. And that when somebody even fakes like they love them or shows them any extra interest than any other person in the world, they will do whatever they possibly can to maintain that relationship. If that means sacrificing everything to do with themselves, they will do it because they do not believe they're going to get any of you. Well, I I only slightly disagree with that in the sense that uh, that's kind of a trait of men. Um, essentially, mm. if guys in, hold up, hold up, hold, mm. listen to me, shut the fuck up. A lot of guys who enter in relationships will often sacrifice things like, like their dreams and whatnot for the family, for their kids, and they'll do something that makes more money, but they're less happy with it. But the level That's why of guys make up the majority of it is different. It's a societal norm for the man to provide for a woman and for a man to suck it up and, and do those things. And that's a lot different than literally like going to the extent that we're speaking of here, which is like, you know, literally fucking like damaged goods like Stockholm syndrome basically yeah, yeah he's, like yeah, honestly like I, I get what you're saying and your point is relevant and it's it's not like moot but i i don't think it really it's not the steve shives position i don't think i don't think men they give up their dreams of being a rock star to get a good job to provide for their kids is it is in the same level as yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not a uh, a robust meninist argument. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, of course. That was course. fantastic. Oh, I, I loved it, but, so but of course you would make that joke. Well, somebody's had to. Their beer. But yeah, no, I, I really do. And that's one of the things that I do actually feel bad for Steve Shives. I hate that I feel bad for him. Yeah. It's hard <laughs> to feel bad for him because he acts like an asshole. But when you realize where the asshole comes from, like Actually, why he's that bad? The, the if you best, look at what the odds are, it's it's you know it's horrible. I just don't the, uh, care anymore. Like, <laughs> well, the thing is, the the best the best in, um, example of the mental breakdown of Steve Shives and and the essential the proof that he's in a seriously abusive relationship is his content. Watch it from the beginning, like the mm. years and the time when Dark Matter gave him a fucking shout out. Watch him then versus what he makes now. Or just watch any of his body language when his wife's around. Uh, yeah. I mean, oh, but, yeah. I mean for, for, the, for the untrained person, the untrained people watcher, who isn't going to pick up on subtleties like that, watch his content. <coughs> well, uh, I also I have a little understanding of neuro-linguistic programming and, and kind of things like that. And, dude, he is a really, really broken individual like yep. really he, oh, yeah. he is if if there really was anybody to actually take sympathy and pity for it would be steve shives without like, a doubt oh yeah like is if it, i hate i hate that i feel bad for sympathy to steve shives Every time I talk about it's speech, more condolences. I end up doing it. <laughs> condolences. It's, it's uh, like I would like thing. to extend more than just uh, sympathy and condolences to Steve Shives. I've extended a boner for him. Steve, if you <laughs> see this, I will give you a spot on my couch. I will let you come and live on my couch <laughs> temporarily. You can come wherever you want <laughs> over on Daddy Schmidt. You found yourself in. <laughs> this is the thing. Saying, I, as long every, as Daddy Schmeckel comes first, you may come wherever you like. <laughs> every time I talk about Steve Shives, all I want to do is make fun of him, but then I feel fucking bad because there is legitimacy to him being in an, some kind of abusive relationship. Have, and I have hate you guys that. not noticed the, the one of the few people I will not I have not responded to that everyone has responded to? Steve Shives. I won't touch him. I, I responded to his direct questions in... Uh, in the questions for anti SGWs, but I just I won't go. I, I can't. I can't do it. I can't punch a broken man. Yeah, that's I, I dead. It's like it. It, he's like a vase that's like I don't see you know, why like anybody a makes year old Ming vase that somebody broke and is now tipped back together and like sitting yeah. on the shelf and everybody is trying to ignore the fact that it's broken and you're the doofus that walks in and goes, hey, what happened to the vase, man? <laughs> 
I don't said, know why anybody anybody <laughs> makes video responses to him anymore. He does not watch them. You yeah. want the honest truth? Well, because it's not it's good marketing. It's hard to the views, the views. Work. That's why people do it. It's the views. Yeah, but he doesn't bring in views. No, that's exactly right. It, Anision does. Nothing. None of that shit really brings in views. It doesn't matter who you take on. It, it doesn't matter. You're only going to get popular by networking. Period. Well, yeah. I mean, I like you talked this. about on I your old channel. Video, uh, pardon me for mentioning it, but but the uh, the bearing effect, which is basically just just you know shorthand for networking. Mm -hmm. But that's just it. that's that's all it is, dude. It's all fucking networking, like. Well, I'm sure if you asked like Philly D or any of the the like you know over multi million channels, they'll probably tell you the same shit. No, well, yeah, you, see, have to, Phil, you have to have legit content. Period. Phil came on YouTube ten years ago when I was oh, he when came I all over YouTube. He did, but that's the thing. He 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 came on YouTube at a time where it was actually not as hard to make to build an audience. Well, you also got to remember technology was much shittier yeah. back then. It, you didn't yes. have everything in HD, so like you could be way more. And not very many people were. Well, shoe on head still films on a potato. 40. So, like, you don't. That 480 aesthetic. It where's, is. Where's, where's Vegeta? Really fucking hard oh, now God. to build an audience. 360i. Even even with networking, like, even getting on big channels, like I I did. A, thing with poisoning the well i got 10 subscribers from it poisoning the well has like 5k they're not that big no that's i true. know but i've been they have been a on... ridiculous production value for how big they are yep. but that, well, the that's thing because is, when of they, what they boom, do outside of youtube when they boom you wait for it it's gonna oh, be dude. stupid like it's, oh, it's gonna be just ridiculous when they finally do do but yeah it's gonna take a certain thing to just kind of set them off well dude yeah, look, at, look at miss misa she's at 7,000 subs now on YouTube. She does nope. pretty damn well. And she no, literally, we, she did her first stream with me. Hmm. Cool. Like, way back in the, and that's like way back in the day, but like, so it's really, it's how much you network. Dude, she networks and put out decent content. I know. I don't. Luck plays a much huge content. part in it. Huge. No, it doesn't. You make your own no, luck. I refuse to believe on luck. That's <laughs> true. <coughs> She's British. I refuse. She has a, a basically, uh, a, no, everybody from the outside world thinks that it's either intelligent or sexy. Um, yep. The voice. She's not a bad looking girl for being a thick girl. Um, and she's fairly well spoken and fairly concise and not a total cunt. Um, See, I'm, I'm convinced that's that my fucking fans. problem. She's, God. She, she's did, she did everything that she needed to do. She played See. the script to the T. And she's where she's at, and she's going there, and that's just it. I got cancer for YouTube. This is bullshit. No, YouTube gave you cancer. <laughs> so there's been, a difference. Been, I've been I've been active on YouTube since it was like a baby, since it was yes, a thing. And boobs. Yeah. And boobs. Yeah. I'll well, nobody, you nobody's guys wait seen for when the summer comes. Well, that's that's the problem. You need to like instead of having like your face, you know, painted and shit or masked up, you you just need to have a picture of cleavage. Throw a bag over your head and pull that fucking V-neck down. <laughs> yeah, you you no, 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 like we're not even joking, Anon. Like, I you, know, but I skin. refuse. I refuse. Non, I do just, not want to gain hey. any kind of attention like that. I Here's don't what you do: want you it. get yourself a Guy Fox mask. You then apply some makeup to it and feminize it. Throw that on your fucking god. You you, right? you free bleed onto that mask and then you spray <laughs> some fucking acrylic over it. So it's <laughs> you know what happened? I get a, a fucking video response from some I, angry I get a fucking owner is what would happen. Oh wait, no, I'm not Andrew Marlowe. Never mind. <laughs> oh, oh, dear God! No, you no. do that. There will be, and you do that. You wear yourself an H and M V neck and bring that fucking thing down to a goddamn like the fucking navel. You'll start pulling in views. All yeah, I, know, of a I, I, I ain't not doing it that way. Yeah, but 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 here's the thing. Look, you will get real good subscriptions out of that because that's even fun. even if the shithead who clicks on it because of your tits will probably be like, "Hey, guys, look at these tits. These are great tits," and he'll probably share that with ten people. And out of those ten people, yes, three of them might be like, "Yeah, she's got great tits," and share that. But one of them will probably be like, "Oh, look, she's got some pretty legit content too," and some legit tits. 
<laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, look at um, I I don't I don't want this to sound like I'm dissing her. This is honestly like out of all respect, but uh, look at stuttering soliloquy. Oh she's my been, god, she's I, been I in I the community. Drilled. She's been in the community for like a month. Yeah, and got, she fuck, has like two fifty, I think. Three. Short. And she is a sweetheart, though. She's a great girl, and she does really good content. I've actually talked to her um, individually a few times. I've done a stream with her, a couple of streams with her now. Um, she also had the bonus of being pepper sprayed in the face at Berkeley, mm -hmm. which was kind of a boost to anybody, let's be fair. As horrible yeah, as it sounds, when you can put up a, a video saying, this is the first time that I'm able to wear makeup since being fucking pepper sprayed in the face at a, at a Milo thing, you're going to get some fucking attention. Peach right. doesn't have to get her boobs out, neither do I. I would, I would, well, she has that fucking voice. Like, she has the Aussie accent. So like, thanks, like, asshole. I'm like, sorry. No, 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 look, I'm sorry. Peach, Peach could have grown ten times what she is. I know. But and she hasn't because of that point alone. It's simply because there's not enough connection that you can feel to a person without having any kind of face activity. Honestly, like, people that hide behind avatars will generally, generally not do as well. As people Unless you're Sargon. Or well, Baron. But Sargon uses his face. Now he well, does, but man, his, yeah, when, but, before, when he was growing, mm -hmm. nah. No, I know, but I'm just saying at some point it's a relatability factor. Oh, yeah, eventually you, you should and have to, but it's, it's you know. Well, you I mean, my, need that my plan it. is is uh, once, once I hit about a thousand or so and there's a reasonable possibility of me actually making revenue off this, I'm going to invest in a decent camera basically investing in my channel and I'll, I'll kind of start working, showing my face in my videos. That's my well, plan. That's always been my plan from before I made my first video. Simply from a, from an effect, I, I can tell you this is that if you look at my videos that I don't use my face or I don't actually talk in front of the cameras to the ones that I do, my That's interaction is about 300% larger for when I'm well, actually. Well, camera. yeah, dude, the, the yeah. video that when, when uh, you, when you were uh, contemplating leaving with your old channel, <laughs> Um, the way, that video that I mirrored, me. that video, yeah, thank God you didn't leave. I'm so <laughs> glad you didn't leave, dude. But yes. uh, that video is my most watched video on my channel by almost double. <laughs> yeah. Guys, take a guess who, guess who uh, said yes to joining the stream. Who's hey, ranting. ranting. How are you doing? Hello. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well, better than I deserve, but that's not to say good. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I figured I you hear would, an accent uh, and I'm already melting. Who am I saying hello to? This is Ranting Feminist. <laughs> G'day, Ranting Feminist. Hello, nice to yep. meet you. Chillest fem feminist I've ever met. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. I think there's probably one out there more chill than me with uh, with access to marijuana. <laughs> are you referring to Tim Blake? Say, are you referring to Tim Blake, uh, also known as Jeff Holliday's for enemy? Uh, well. I mean, Tim Blake isn't technically a feminist. He doesn't identify as one, but he sort of just doesn't give a shit that he gets called one. So, yeah, like he he actually doesn't identify as feminist, technically speaking. But what? I, guess, I always yeah. thought he did. I I never knew nah. that he didn't identify as one. De facto feminist. Nah. nah, he's like he's feminist by association. You see, <laughs> um, it's it's catching because uh, you know, if you if you hang out with us too much, people go, "You're a feminist." Then. So is herpes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 uh, uh, and like and like herpes, you can never get rid of us. See, uh, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> you. Play along with the joke. Uh, yeah. No, nah, I just I just got a sense of humor because I know you're just kidding. Um, it's I mean, yes, it, yes, I only get upset about shit when it's like oh, you can tell somebody's right being sincere. Oh, yep, yeah, cool, cool. Fuck yeah! Like I I don't think that I don't get bothered by jokes. It's more when like. I get these comments that are just like, oh, feminism is cancer, and it's like they expect some sort of thing out of it. Like, I'm like, why leave that comment? Like, they're not even joking, it's just... Yeah, but that like, happens to everybody, yeah. to be honest. I mean, oh, that I, know. To me. I know. It's, this is kind of a part of the internet at some point. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> like, like yeah. you can't. Every I just don't get the like... point. There is no I don't point. really get angry. I just, I just don't get the point. It's I, like, what's the point of that comment? I'm starting cool. to get angry at it, and I'm actually starting getting angry at my friends for doing it too. Like I'm really getting like maybe not fed up with with Twitter, but it's just kind of like how can you expect like when I look at some of my friends, like how can you expect any kind of conversation when you approach people mm. like fucking twat? Like 
uh, yeah. not going to get anything from it. Like, I fucking think fuck that. For that. The, the problem yeah. is, I think a lot of us get too into it and we get too used to debating with people who are being hostile and then we start blanket generalizing everybody and i do it too where i've uh i've gone off at somebody and they've been like hey i was i was actually kidding i was joking or whatever and then i've gone oh god i'm an asshole <laughs> yeah. well to be yeah. fair on the internet especially on something like twitter it's not always easy to tell when someone's joking well but, but i mean like i can even speak outside of twitter and say in my day-to-day -day life here in the northwest i've had very similar if not identical situations to Twitter occur on my day-to-day -day life. I have two, and I live in very conservative Utah. I have actually, like, I have said uh, that feminism is cancer, but it was a joke, and it was in what it was in a video where I was wishing Anon the best of luck with her cancer treatment. <laughs> yeah, and like I think it's time. totally it's totally fine as a thing for people to say. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> um, Daisy has but... pizza, and he's I'm super so happy. happy. <laughs> yeah, um, like I don't really mind people saying it as such. It's just more when people commented on a video of mine, I feel kind of disappointed because I like that the anti-feminists who actually engage with me and will disagree, but they'll tell me why they disagree and they'll rationalize it, and not just not just like. Hey, feminism is cancer feminism. run away now. Um, like, I, I think it's actually, it's interesting actually having a discussion. And I get irritated that, like, feminism is cancer has, like, 30 upvotes and is now the top comment. But the person who actually debunked the argument or, well, didn't attempt to or disagreed but actually laid out why they disagreed and made a really like good comment that goes way down the list because well, people are upvoting feminism as cancer or something you know but that's that's the state of people right now yeah i, I see you've i see you've met true. sensationalism like yeah. it's just that, that that is what it's going to be and it takes rational people like like we can't have a world that is entirely liberal and we can't have a world that is entirely uh republican or or uh, conservative mm. however you want to look at it it takes a balance of both and oh. the government is generally a pendulum thing swinging back and forth and mm. we've just got to kind of learn to work with each other and actually talk mm. about shit versus like just screaming nice at each other pizza. Yeah, but there's no fucking barbecue sauce on it. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Are you sorry, wah, wah. Wah. actual sauce been replaced well, with barbecue. Call them and complain. You'll get a free pizza and get to keep that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. No, I'm. JT's I'm gonna get all. fat. <laughs> no, seriously, complain. They'll they'll give you a free one with the barbecue sauce will. on it. I know they will. The you get a free pizza. pizza sauce, yeah, Miss Anon, <laughs> I think you've forgotten how men work. We suck it up. No, eat it. I'm not saying not to fucking eat it. I'm saying call them and complain and get a free pizza because if you're not cheap, you're not That's a real sexist. man. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Wait a minute. Wasn't this, isn't you're this the same sexist. woman that was that was talking about Jewish women negatively earlier? Because that's that's Jewish as shit, Anon. <laughs> it is. I wasn't talking shit about Jewish women. I just said Sarah Silverman's an ugly cunt. She's she probably enough. has an ugly cunt. That's what I said. And Julia <laughs> Louise Dreyfus is way hotter. And I'm I, telling you no. I'm telling I you. I have issues with Sarah Silverman more for things she's said and done than her appearance, but okay. <laughs> right, right. I mean, I, I think that she used to be attractive, but I yes. also think that the things that she says are, are reprehensible. Are oh, yeah. yeah reprehensible beyond deal breaker like lying about the wage gap like, thing. I don't what? I don't care how rich she is if she if if someone told me it's like hey Sarah Silverman's gonna take you to dinner I'd be like no she's not. <laughs> <laughs> you got no, come on man it's standard. I was like that I was like unless we're at different tables no she's not because I don't want to hear that bitch talk. Seriously, well, and that's just it. We, we already standards. talked about her lack of character and scruple yes. and whatnot. We have literally degenerated all the way down to making fun of her appearance because we've already beaten that bush to death. Yes. In fact, uh, yeah. know, that, that horse is dead. and, and We've, we've made it down the either. list of... of... Oh, so now you're calling her a horse, are you? Oh. <laughs> well, okay, okay, that's okay, so now that, we've all, now that we're all in agreement that literally. we've committed horse now gotta... necromancy... Now that's you gotta dehumanize her and compare her to a horse you misogynist. Yeah, I, I'm just kidding, or, by the way. Or, this is all a joke. Uh, <laughs> you, you're you're playing the game very well, I think I respect this. What? this is what? Wait, Do you want to ask our new guest the, uh, the question? 
Oh, oh, no. oh. That's yes. JT's bag. Um, yes. what, what's up, JT? Ask the question. Okay. So, ranting, we have a tradition on this stream, mm. on the cunt stream. It's it's a long-standing and, and uh, illustrious tradition. It, it's like a penis <laughs> with Viagra that doesn't go down after four hours. Yeah. So, mm. Even though we keep beating it, it won't go away. You just, <laughs> it won't you go just, away. Play, you just start playing ring toss. But um, <laughs> the question is, if, if gun to your head, you have to pick between one of the two, if you've got <laughs> okay. to hook up with one of them, is it Lacey Green or Anita Sarkeesian? Oh, uh, I don't know. I think they're both kind of cute. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just desperate or have low standard. Nah, I actually think I genuinely think they're both quite pretty. Um, I don't know. Um, you gotta pick. It's it's the it's the unfortunate situation of the of the question. And no I don't know. I think they're cute. I think they're cute. I'd I'd either. But you one. gotta pick one. Um, one. Y'all have a side. We've all picked a side at some point, but this is the uh, first greedy one we've ever had. I don't that know. Wants both. Wants both. <laughs> yeah, both. I want both. I want both of them. They keep. Oh, no, I, I think. I think since so she's she's a woman with an attractive accent, we'll we'll let her have the three way. <laughs> Are we gonna Yay! let her? <laughs> By the way, I I saw the greatest comment ever today on somebody's video, and I don't remember where it was. I think it was on V's video, and it said. Mm -hmm. We Swedish men are superior. We have figured out the easiest way to remove a condom. We fart. Oh. <laughs> I like that. That's clever. My mind was bad. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't initially get that, but I like the subversion of expectation kind of aspect. That's funny. That's why yeah. it was brilliant. It was brilliant. It was just so okay. well stated. Ranting is not nearly drunk enough or is way too smart for this stream. Oh. That was that was eloquent. <laughs> That was isn't it, wait. Isn't it like a rule? Everybody. I think has it's just to be drunk? you're tricked by my accent. Uh, well, I mean, for me, it might be a bit. I don't know. It might be a bit early. Um, for me, it's never oh, too like, early. It's, it's never too early. On a it's between four p.m. and six p.m. I'll just say that as a it's as a range. This evening. That's good enough. It's yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Right? True. <sighs> Yeah, I mean it's it's not too early, but it's like I don't know. It's, it's, like, it's eleven weird. p.m. here. I don't know why you're being so. so and it's, it's, it's a weekend. That, not a twenty percent drink. Yeah, true. It's uh, it's Sunday here though. That's fine. Yeah. That's still a weekend. <laughs> true, true. That's, that's Nobody likes event. Monday hangovers. I haven't really Nobody got shit Monday on period. tomorrow, so yeah. I, I haven't got shit on my regular drinks. That's all right. Oh, see, all the more reason to drink. You, you don't have shit to do tomorrow. Yeah. I, I think, I, think I was drinking it. last night, though, so I'm not really good at just kind of powering through the next day, too. <laughs> Hair of the dog. Hair, Hair of the, the dog. dog. <laughs> uh, is that an American expression? Hair of the dog? Hair oh, of yeah. So it's, um, the best way to cure a hangover is some hair of the dog that bit you, meaning you just drink what? again and it just numbs it away. It's probably a Canadian uh, thing. No, it's, it a, it's an American be. thing. Father's out of butter! I'm, oh, I'm hey, hey, is that is that a is that a keystone? It's fun. Um, it it's said in Scotland okay. it's popular belief. Well, no, that I, mean, I couldn't tell if it was a keystone or a kokanee. Part of the ring, Okay, so it's um. I was listening. Okay. I was interested. You said Scotland. Yeah, so it's. it's it, I'm with you. It was. A 1898. In Scotland, it is popular belief that a few hairs of the dog that bit you applied to the wound will prevent evil consequences. Applied huh. to drinks, it means if overnight you have indulged. Da, 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 da. So it might be a Scottish tradition, maybe. Explain I the drink. approve. I approve. That's way better mm. than it being American. That right. I, <laughs> I like, disapprove. Hey, I'm American and I approve of this message. The phrase yeah. also exists in Hungarian. My what? gosh. We we know it's yeah. not a whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, That's look at the cool. Wikipedia page. I'm linking it now in the in the thing. Like, yeah, it's it's also in Hungarian. Among the Irish and Mexicans, the phrase the cure I, I can't read that in Spanish. Um it's often <laughs> referred to it's often used instead of hair of the dog. Um, oh, I see. So it's sort of a similar thing. Yeah, I won't try to read it in other languages because otherwise I'll embarrass myself. I'll reply. Yeah, I trust you on that. Well, how so? Like Kuruda. Ooh. I'll give Boone a shout out here. Um, I've been asked that question. I picked Anita. 
Uh, mm. The reason why is you have to take their videos out of it and imagine that there's a ball gag involved. <laughs> I, yeah, just, exactly. I couldn't stand Lacey's voice normally, but if she wasn't speaking, there'd be no, a I, I just didn't want herpes. That's what it playing playing down. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm on Team Anita is because herpes is the thing. I mean, like, I know, I'm okay like, with way better looking than Lacey. Anita looks like one of my aunts in, in her mid forties. Neither Ooh. neither one of them are really my type. So yeah. I mean, it's and kind of one of those like, well, I mean, I'm not going to be happy. My head. Like, I'd be happy without an STD. And I don't know. I don't know. Like, this, are, are we really listening to the guy that has SJW waifu? Hey, you know mm -hmm. what? Today, the amazingly enough, she <laughs> asked the me. the SJW waifu. That's, I, I, will, that's... I gotta know this. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I never heard about this before. Oh, yeah, that's, that's my girlfriend. The SJW waifu. <laughs> that's, that's the girlfriend of mine. But today, I was listening mm. to um, Sargon talking about PewDiePie. And she asked me to turn it up because she wanted to hear it. What? what? Yesterday. What? yesterday what? It's the fucking I, apocalypse. Wait, 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 wait. It gets better. It gets better. The past couple of days, I've been subversively playing. Do you know who V is? Vero? Yes. Get down, Bill. I've been subversively playing V. He's the Romanian guy with the funny accent that plays the uh, um, Shadow Run with Sargon. Mm -hmm. um, mm. But I've been playing that. And she was today, she was like, hey, turn that up. And like yesterday, she's like, turn that up. I want to hear it. Well. Oh, is the kitty red pilling a girl? I Look, <laughs> if I'm going to spend the rest of my fucking life with her, there have to be some <laughs> ground rules. Like, there's going to have to be some red pill consumption if we're going to spend the rest of our lives I'm, together. I'm, I'm not forcing a full pill down her mouth. I'm just sprinkling a little in the food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did my kind of red pill there, Samaj. Not everyone's as red. And you'll wonder how he got her into bed in the first place. You know, I will interrupt here and just bring this to a point. The way that we red pill people is a lot better than my mother used to try and fucking feed me Tylenol as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm sorry, my family was too poor to afford children's Tylenol. So no, what did my mother do? She scrunched that fucking Tylenol up yep. and put it in a teaspoon of hominy. Oh. That's not well, that bad. Yeah, it is. I do right. that. I, I do never, that now. It, it never mixes right. <laughs> and it just sticks the shit to the roof of your mouth and encapsulates yep. it there. And it, How it, many people it, are watching, by the way? How do we know how many people are watching? Five people watching, including You go me. to the cunt street <laughs> and you see how many people. And subtract yourself. Uh, oh, yeah, you don't have the link. Okay. Just uh, guess a number less than go. 10. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> I, I have a feeling I that sure. nobody's actually watching. Yeah, we normally hey, don't I'm get not on the stream. We, so I'm we not normally on. don't get much live. I hate this. Somehow uh, I've almost uh, yeah. finished a bottle yeah, I usually of wine. Get, like, I usually get like a few, but that said, most of my viewers are from America. So um, when I do streams, often it's just like a very small group because you know it's not usually a good time for Americans. We have like backwards time to you guys. Well, and your toilets go backwards too. Is that uh, really I heard that, but I've never really tested it. I don't well, know. I, I can don't tell you, think in the EU it does. I think that's just an Australian and South American thing. Southern Hemisphere, Northern Hemisphere. Oh yeah, Southern Hemisphere. Yes, uh, hey, I thought it was spin on hemisphere. Which way does it spin? <laughs> Remember that um, episode from uh, The Simpsons where they? Oh yeah, so I will put my toilet on camera if you put your toilet on camera. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't have a camera. <laughs> I haven't got a camera. I, I, I just know. Uh, yeah. right. Well, I mean, I I have a camera on my phone, but that's it. And I'm I'm not signing in on my phone. or have to yeah. do it under my, you know, my usual account. <laughs> Plus, I'll you're asking to look at a wall. I'll dox wheel. myself. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, we're all asking just to see your bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Um, that'd, that'd be, be all over your toilet. Yeah. That's a big. <laughs> it, that's, that happens to be Schmeckel's fetish is toilets. An old way. <laughs> that's how we judge you. Doesn't me. sound old or fat enough for me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, <laughs> but, by the way, my nan is still very upset you haven't called her. <laughs> I actually get a Damn, comment a lot. Got it's... Memory issues. I called her earlier <laughs> this morning. Did you? Because <laughs> she was she was really upset with you. Yeah. Okay. Fucking forgetting. Anyway, uh, ranting. You were saying something. 
Uh, oh, people... I'm just saying I often get a comment that mm -hmm. people uh, sort of think that I'm uh, fat and they say, you sound fat. Is that a meme, by the way? Oh, I get I... you sound fat a lot in the comments. And I, I, I never really understood it. I will tell <laughs> you this. Like... Yeah. There is a difference in vocal register between people who are skinny and who are larger. Sometimes. Oh, yeah. Okay. So on okay, average, you will see, you'll hear a, a bit of a deeper register from those who are um, squatter, if you will. A wider <laughs> somewhat. I believe the term they prefer is rotund. And That's why I, prefer, why I, I fucking mean, sound completely, like they this. hate that. No, so, okay. that's because you're from Northern BC. There's, There's also a benefit to this, though. Dream. There is an inherent I've benefit been using... having a lower vocal register. It mm. is better received by most people. Yep. True well, fact. it depends okay. with it women because with women, a low voice is associated with not being as attractive but being more informative. So you're That's... seen as smarter, but people assume you're ugly. Um, so I think people assume I'm ugly because I've got a deeper voice. Um, but they also but assume you, you're brilliant. If you've got a high-pitched, bubbly voice, people will think you're attractive, but need but retarded. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, well, I don't know. Sugar Sis has a lower voice as women go, and I'm guessing she is fine as shit. And for another, yes, that 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 is technically alcoholism. No, I actually have a question. I've been using a Keystone as an ashtray, <laughs> and kind of Which lost one? my beer in the mix. <laughs> oh, oh God. Your Dude, answer is open another there. one. Do not yeah. drink the ashtray. <laughs> Anything but ash drinking the drink. ashtray. Don't and ash my drink. My weight. And by the way, whoever said sugar tits, she was my first sub. And really? Wow. Huh. That's cool. Well, man. no, I love her because she told me my videos were shit. <laughs> she told me politely. <laughs> oh, good point. And she told me how to fix it. So See, no one told me how to fix it. They just keep subbing me. to me and, and dealing with it. Like, no one will tell me why they're shit. I just know that they are. Audio. If she's, Sorry, telling, audio polite... if she's telling you politely, does that mean she's saying your video is a shit smiley face? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Your, Actually, your videos fucking her... suck. But you've also I... got to remember, D. I don't think that she would take the time to say anything to you at all if your videos were shit. If she didn't think that you were actually capable of doing more than shit. Yeah. Well, no. She was the one that got me into fucking YouTube. Mm. I was on Twitter talking to her because I was so fucking frustrated. Because I'd hear everybody else speak. I had no fucking voice. And she's like, just make a video. And that's how Futter Nut became a, a thing. She's got a point, mm. though. Like, the best way to just get your, your statement out there is to fucking record it. Absolutely. Mm. And you know what? In hindsight, she was probably really rude to me, but I have an older sister, so <laughs> my perception used to of women being rude to you is off the charts. You're just immune well, to it. If you've well, I have three older sisters, dude. Like, women being rude to me is just kind of like Tuesday for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been shot, ran over by a car, <laughs> ran over by a motorcycle, and punched in the head. <laughs> and I still this all don't the same know one? when women are being rude to me. <laughs> Children, I have no fucking clue. I was thinking all. Um, thing. uh, broken condoms and Smirnoff is my guess. I'm going to guess Rohypnol. Oh. Uh, my guess is broken condoms and Budweiser. <laughs> I was yeah. close. This is close. <laughs> I used to make enough money to fucking... Uh, Hire prostitutes? No, drink brand name beer. <laughs> oh, look at you. Look at you and your bad self, me and my PBR feeling sad. I gotta say, could. like, I don't know if this is the case for anybody else, but when you made a channel, did you just sort of expect it to just be, you know, like, throwing a message in a bottle into a sea of messages in bottles and not really, yes. no one will really see it? Yeah. And then did you sort of get a surprise when people are actually watching you? Like, because yes. that's what I got. Yeah. I feel like um, thousand subscribers. Here's what really fucking pisses me off is I made a video. I got 
40 subs. I oh, made a second you, video. Dude. I had I had less than I got less than 20 subs, for the first three And now videos. I'm at 60. Wow. Oh, uh YouTube's out. I know YouTube goes through and cleans them all out every now and again. Oh no, I haven't made a video in like a year. I was going to say Futter, oh, let me well, let me well. pretend to feel bad for you. My first four videos, I had as many subs until my fourth video, then uh Satsu 2 cents and T being um like tweeted out my video and overnight I hit like 25 and I've been slowly clawing my way up since then. That was my hey. Jeff experience in October. Wrath, uh, should I log into my thing and share it with you on who my three biggest subs are? Well, as you say, Sugar Tits subbed to me when I was at like 115. I'm now at 150, I believe. My three biggest is Sugar Tits, Bearing, and Suit Yourself Too. Yeah, you say, I don't um, actually know who subscribed to me. To me. Is that uh, weird? I think he's that rotation is, but he doesn't show his subs, but he's been commenting mm. on my last few videos, so I believe he may be. Actually, I will also state this. Uh, the Pink Pistol. Oh, I haven't watched I like, shit in like a year. See, I almost, I almost made a response like video to Pistol because I was kind of pissed at something he was saying. Oh, no. He, he fucking hates me. I'm, I'm going to just pop out for a couple minutes. I will be back shortly, folks. Uh, but no. it looks like I got I got um Pat Paper Ghost bearing sugar tits uh red robots Kizum Luca and I think yeah I have Crouton T also and Prince of Queens. That looks like oh wait no Satsu's there. Oh yeah, I've had uh, Prince got me for beat. a while. Um, you got me beat. I just saw, to me oh wait, no, like, like Mortified Productions, whoever that is. I feel like the only reason I have any, like, the amount of subscribers I do is because I got cancer and everybody made videos to make help me make money for that. Mm. <laughs> I think I did actually hear about that. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that, by the way. Oh, um, I, I don't I'm think good I ever now. talked to you about it. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. I, I think I did hear something about the cancer, though, and I didn't... Um, I didn't really know much about it, but yeah, because um, I'm not really in the same sort of circles. But well, the, yeah, the skeptic, I, uh, the yeah. skeptic feminists made a video about it, which is where uh, I think mm. some, like some of the feminist sphere, heard about it via him. Okay. Yeah. Um, just because you said cancer and we're on the internet, <laughs> I meant real cancer. <laughs> I had real cancer. Oh, okay. butter, like butter, don't butter, don't make me, don't make no. me dick punch you in the fart box. I will, <laughs> Lil, I will. Lil Miss, the first stream I ever went went on was actually with you. And I, I kept making cancer jokes. I know, and I you kept laughing. You after. <laughs> and I was like, why does she keep laughing? I know, I know, it's a joke, but come on. I, <laughs> I that, to hide that, I, that was when I still, inside. that's when I still had the cancer, and he didn't know, and he kept making cancer jokes, and it was the fucking funniest <laughs> thing ever because Bane was sending me messages on Skype going, are you okay? Do you want me to tell him? I'm like, no, let him keep going. We'll tell him later. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, so by the way, like, how much room do we have on the stream? Because um, 8-Bit followed me recently, and he's he's a really awesome YouTuber. I two love his spots. Channel. Uh, um, we two got room for one, because JT's coming back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can message 8-Bit and see if he wants to jump in. But yeah, yeah no, like, I, um, I'm, I'm good now. <laughs> Uh, at oh, least great. I hope so. <laughs> I got I got one uh, more one more specialist appointment, but the, the like the chances of it coming back are so slim that I'm not mm. worried. You oh, that's really good. You know what really scares me? Your eye. My eye? Which one? <laughs> the one with pink eye. Uh, on my right. I. Oh, I maybe that's the not scary one. It lies. It looks identical to mine, and you're from Northern BC. Which is a reason why I don't go to Northern BC. So you guys may be cousins. That's terrifying. I don't like that. <laughs> well, no, there's a reason why I, I will not go to the bar in BC without my fucking three inch binder of family tree. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like I, you need to fucking move, man. <laughs> I used to go to BC for the exact opposite reason because the people I hadn't slept with were there. <laughs> 
<laughs> Everybody sure. knows Indian girls are easy. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. There's, there's a fine line between whore and sought after. No, no. Whore. Whore. A whore. There's a difference. I think your Washingtonian's By the way, coming out a little bit there, uh, Carl. My, my, my Washingtonian? Yeah, yeah, your Washingtonian. And by the way, this might be a little bit of doxing. I grew up next to a fucking strip club. So, huh, which congratulations. one? I grew it's up. a grad dealers. Dude, There's thousands of strip clubs. Which one? Dealers. <laughs> Airway. Wait a minute, you guys have a strip club called Beavers? No, Peelers. Peelers. I think said Beavers. <laughs> like, part of me just wanted it to be Beavers, I think. I, there's what's one, actually, what's there's actually one, kind um, of funny. Oh, sorry, and go on. Beavers, <laughs> uh, there's, there's one close to me called Beavers, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, there's also Beavers in Weyburn, Saskatchewan. Yeah. There used to be one. Yeah. I was going to say, please tell me that's a thing. I know it's your, like, national symbol animal, but come on. Come on. <laughs> is I, it, it is it, I have to ask, is it all I thought it was women? moose as well. Is it beavers? It's I thought it was beavers. I don't know. Is it, are moose? they all unshaven? We, uh, we do have a beaver on some of our coins. We also but have we also have a moose. Have the beavers you know, are playing head. hockey on we some of your money. We have bears on our money, too, and they don't live in Canada. Well, well to be fair, I mean... Like, the, 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 uh, the Canadian mint circu circulates all these collectible coins all the time. We never know what's going to be on the coin when you're going to get here in Canada. It's yeah, like, we have yeah. a Superman toonie. Yeah. Oh, toonie. What? Yeah, we yeah. And toonies. Although, I still can't believe that you guys call your currency loonies and toonies. That, that... By the way, the national a animal is, in fact, the beaver. That's sad that I knew what? more about Canada than the Canadians. Yeah, well, hey, when you're moose. in BC, it's fucking moose. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you're literally in BC, fucking you're moose. Fucking yes, literally <laughs> fucking and, moose. And you can see who is more obsessed with Canadians. The you um, I learned that shit from how I met your mother, nigga. Controversy. Look, you have to tenderize the meat before you eat it. Dude, I, I learned yes, that shit from... from I, I learned the beaver thing from watching How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> and I grew up near the border to BC. And so actually, like how I met your mother is... was the most iconic fucking troll on Canada ever because we had fucking no Ron argument. Sparkles. Well, I mean, you 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 basically could have named that show "Fuck Canada" and people still would have watched it. <laughs> and yeah, there is no argument. It. You haven't well, watched it yet. No, I, I'm pretty sure the creators, like at least one of them, is either Canadian or knows a lot of Canadians. Because <laughs> everyone I've asked about shit on that show, they're just like, yeah, yeah, no, no, that's not, that's not inaccurate, yeah, that, that, yeah, you know yeah, what, no, that's true. It's, it's kind of one of those things. Like, should I be insulted or? Nah, should I? Own I think it's it? a compliment. It's kind of like when a celebrity gets made fun of in The Simpsons. It used to kind of be a symbol of making it as a celebrity. Is it The Simpsons that make fun of you? So you're saying Canada is a celebrity? All I can say is that no, no, you're you're Does you're, you're now ratified as a country ripping. because we have a show that makes fun of you. You are oh, now wait, considered a country. Hey, <laughs> South Park makes fun of us all the fucking time and has for years. You have a show that is not fart jokes. It's not all fart jokes. South <laughs> Park is <laughs> Canadian, a little bit. No, no, no. Even I just want to see people. <laughs> I just want to see people who make fun of Australians do it well, because most of the time it's just that nobody knows shit about the country and that sort of mystery gets filled in with just nonsense. Like It's because you know, you're not a yeah. real uh, country. We can't make, we can't do anything but make up history. Yep. Well, ranting, <laughs> ranting, since I'm assuming you're Australians, can we just yeah. not assume that your ancestors are Canadians and English that fucked? Um... You get the ruggedness of the Canadians, that classy sound of the British. And you know <laughs> what they are. The you know why they're so rugged is because they're British criminals. Exactly. Thank look, you. Look, look, look. Well, look. not the British life. criminals. There's also, uh, you know, the how I'm the sorry. Irish were oppressed. They basically got sent out here for, you know, I'm sorry. Were you not a penal Craig, colony? Nobody. Well, yeah, we Wikipedia, were. Australia <laughs> penal colony. But, like, there was a lot Repeat. of false imprisonment of Irish Australia, mm. there's nothing, because Australia doesn't exist. I already made that I joke. Watch, 
I watch Gary the Goat for all my Australian culture. Thank you very see, much. See, the reason I know that a, a little bit about Australia is because I'm actually Barry? half Australian. Oh, cool. What? Yeah, uh, I I'm, a, I'm, Australian and, I'm Australian and Danish. So, so makes, I'm basically like like uh, Tim, like if the sage had if the sage and Bering had a kid, you, you that's me. <laughs> so you're kind of Viking. I am Irish, Scottish, Welsh, and English. Yes, I'm you a Welsh and so Viking. That's I what I am. One, I am a Welsh and Viking. I have one Viking. side of me that hates three sides of me, and I have three sides of me that hates one side of me. <laughs> yeah, I'm more confused than you. I am American, English, Scottish. Ukrainian, and I'm sure there is a nigger in the woodpile. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, dude, hard ER. <laughs> if the UK had an orgy, that would be me. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Even hey, my scales my, are green. My entire life, all I've ever wanted to do was be like one man, and that man happens to be Canadian, unfortunately, but his name is Red Green. Oh, dude, I love red awesome. green. If they don't find you handy, at least they'll find yeah, you handy. Find it. If they don't no, find you handsome, least... they'll at least find you handy. Okay, yeah. has yeah. anybody backwards. actually seen the red green movie? Yes. 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 Oh, it's thank red. God. Oh, okay. Fun Although fact. the red green show, okay, that's how my dad used to put me to bed on weekends. Is it used to be on PBS <laughs> at like ten thirty at night <laughs> on Aww, Saturday nights? So cute. I'd watch red green and then I'd go to bed. Wait a minute! You mean in the United States you had red green before the internet? Yeah, yeah we we had it on PBS, dude. Dude, I had red green as it was airing. Like, yeah, my uh, I did not have that across, fortune. I literally had Canadian TV from my place. Like, an old friend of my mom's place. actually made one of the duct tape uh, sculptures for that movie. Nice. Yeah, so yeah. we did. Uh, we had red green, and um, right after we had red dwarf. Yep. I want the duct red tape what? goose. If you've never I seen see. Red Dwarf, you need to see that show. It is no, amazingly no. funny. I thought it was hilarious. Shut up, Schmeghead. Uh, if you want the duct tape <laughs> goose, my nephew can make it to you. Oh, but remember, you, want it, uh, you are a Rainbow tape? <laughs> oh, is he going to make it like the same size? Because the shipping's going to be really expensive. <laughs> right. uh, well, the shipping's on you. Uh, Fuck that. I ain't paying for it. <laughs> So, so, Eric, just remember, next time you take an exam, just stand up in the middle of the room and say, I am a fish. <laughs> I was just going to re you know, recite the, the Possum Lodge psalm or whatever that is. Oh, the Possum Lodge. I'm a man, and I can change. change if, if I, I have, have to. to. I guess. I guess. <laughs> it's, it's like that part of the, the segment of the show where we discuss those three little words that men find so hard to say. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> Do you want to know one of my all-time favorites on that was when he cut the couch in half to attach his lounger to it? <laughs> no, no. My favorite on the Red Green Show is when he makes the replacement tire with shoes. <laughs> I, I it's, like the, it's whole the hot extending. tub in the back of the pickup truck. Extending. No, that's a good no, no, one. No, no, no. Extending the possum van. That. Extending the possum van. Oh, the possum. Oh, the possum van. <laughs> and when the oh, possum van went away, because I'm, I'm like. 99.9% .9 sure she has no fucking clue what we're all so excited about. <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea, yeah. <laughs> well, you have the internet ranting. Look up the Red Green Show after after you're done here. It is it's, amazing, it's... especially if you're drinking. It's way better if you're drinking. All the yes. Canadian culture. So if, if a show's uh, only good if you're drinking, I'm kind of skeptical only good. about how good it is. <laughs> okay. No, 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 it gets good. better. It's just Why better. do you impress Canadian culture? Yes, well, it's, the show drinking. is only good when you're drinking. It's not only what good when you're drinking, it's better when it's you're drinking. Better Just like Canadians, they're better yeah. when you're drinking. That's right. It's, it's like telling it's like tell us if it's you smoke weed, it gets better. Why do you think I'm drinking? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love it. Politely atheist. I am so lost. That hurt oh. my feeling. I, I should probably get those checked at the hospital for free. <laughs> yeah, hey JT, why don't you go make an appointment? They'll see you in about three and a half months. You can. <laughs> yeah, you say by the time the condition kills you, they'll you'll have a spot in the schedule. Okay. At least I'll know what killed me. Yeah. Well, my family will. Yeah, the doctors see. don't have any fucking clue because only the morticians <laughs> will see you. <ya. laughs> <laughs>
I don't know. I talked okay. to some Americans, and when they snowboard, they snowboarded like they learned how to snowboard on a hill. I, oh, learned, I learned how to snowboard. snowboard with a rope and a car. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Whoa. Really? Do you know what was the best? Mountain, Fucking metal garbage cans. Metal garbage Wait, cans. I live in the Rockies, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Those hill. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the lid. Yeah. Like, if it weren't dark right now, I could show you a view of the Rockies. I'm not going to say hey, which you. mountains, otherwise you'd know what city I live in. I already know the what Rocky Mountains. I live in. Denver. You do? Yes. Would you like me to tell everybody? Denver, Miami. I, I Fuck would, off. I would Denver highly is prefer not you the didn't... Rockies, you. Okay, just make it sure. <laughs> Denver, Denver borders the Rockies. I don't know I... what heroin you've been smoking, but pass the fucking glass. I, I, I would, oh, I we also border Flatlands, but I, we're I not spent, flat. I spent six years pretty much south of Denver by about 45 miles. Um, wait a minute. Oh. Southwest or southeast? Do south. I I don't know the town that's due south for Colorado Springs. Oh, why did I not all know I that? I'm kind of depressed. About... I didn't know that. Yeah, and all I remember about uh, Denver is uh, steam whistle. You know, yeah. on, honestly, all I remember about Denver is full of regressive liberal cucks and AIDS Skrillex clones. I remember oh, dude, a three hundred seventy-five dollar fine in Denver. I remember and... a three hundred seventy-five dollar fine, which I called on about two months ago, and they still said if I show my face in Denver, I have to see a judge. What? So don't go back to Denver, dude. What did you like, do? In case you needed a reason to not go to Denver, there it is. You don't need one, by the way. Well, look, Denver here's, shit. Here's the the thing about Colorado: you <sighs> go on vacation and you leave on probation. <laughs> See, that's what we say about Logan. No, Logan's not nearly as bad. Yeah. I mean, Logan's bad, but but not not nearly as bad. No, I was going through the mountains listening to Sammy Hager. You can't drive fifty five. Yeah, well, you and do. I got pulled over by a fucking cop with a fucking full sleeve. <laughs> that's how you know you're in Colorado. Like like for for all of my friends here in Utah, there's like. It's like, oh, I'm going to take a road trip to Colorado. So I'm like, well, when you see Ink on the cops, you know you're there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, because yeah, Utah cops man. are, like, slick about it. They'll have, like, half sleeves that yeah. that only only when they, like, only, like, when they reach in to grab your license, you'll see their tattoos. Uh, but Colorado about. cops give no fucks. Like, and I saw one they, with a, I, I with a neck it. barcode. No, like, the barcode I thing think on the back of his Colorado. neck, like Hitman. I saw that on a, on a Colorado trooper. <laughs> No, in Colorado, you either need the red license plate or an out-of-state plate. Then you are guaranteed to get pulled over. Yep. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, that's almost every state. Um, when when also I the had state Washington, that I got tased in. When I had Washington oh, state, when I had Washington plates. Granted, I grew up in Utah. I got pulled over for going like four over. In the, in the town just just down the way from me, just down the highway from where I'm at. Um, and the cop recognized me because I went to high school with his sister <laughs> and, and he's like, I know you. I was kind of like, yeah. He's like, what are you doing? Washington plates. Well, I just got out of the Navy, man. I'm, I'm just <laughs> visiting. And he's like, he's like, Oh really? How was that? We chat for like 20 minutes. He forgot why he pulled me over and he sends me on my way. Nice. Yeah. Little miss. I yes. got fucking tased while in handcuffs. <laughs> oh, welcome to You're not America. even black. <laughs> You're no, yeah, but I, I wanted the black the neighborhood, white ass. and the cop did not believe me that I was lost. Oh no, you must have been buying drugs, right? Yeah, you thought oh. you were buying drugs. No, I was in Denver trying to find a good place to eat, and somehow ended up in an area that Azing was the lesser of the two evils. I got put in handcuffs, pulled out of my fucking rental car. <laughs> I, I had my bag searched. Rental. And then when I got up to grab a fucking cigarette, because they put the handcuffs in front, some fucking cop is one of the five cop cars that were behind me. Five. 
Oh nice. my god. Hey guys, guys, I think we just started a thing. Hashtag peanut lives matter. You know shit. <laughs> my only experience with the police was I got pulled up over with I think a dozen M four A threes and like <laughs> fifty thousand rounds of ammunition and the officer basically asked me what was in the back of the truck and I told him what was in the back of the truck and he kind of gulped a little bit <laughs> and he put me in handcuffs and he called for backup which was a supervisor and during that time I prevented or you know presented my uh, federal firearms transfer license my class three <laughs> was taken out of handcuffs and actually plinked off a couple of shots off the side of the road with the, <laughs> the arresting officer because he thought they were pretty cool. I'll be honest. I've been pulled over a few times in the United States. Oh, me States. too. I've been arrested a few times too. <laughs> I've been yeah, ordered okay. by I've, I've uh, got... Sublet County Sheriffs. Okay, I've got my first Am I the of, only uh... one here that's never had a run-in with the police? Yes, um, I haven't. Probably. Let's ask Ranting. Thank God, I'm not the only one. Let's say Ranting. I have you had a, 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 a run-in with the? Do you guys call them bobbies down there? No. Uh, cops. Yeah, <laughs> have you had a run-in with the cops down there? Uh, not really. No. Did, I you, mean, say, did you did you flirt your way out of the ticket? Is that what happened? <laughs> oh. They uh they sort of just uh pulled over the cab driver and gave him a breath test and he was came up oh. clean and then they gave me a breath test for some reason and it was all good and yeah there we are more That's than me I've, I've i yeah. don't think i've ever spoken to a cop except when my mom's ex-husband assaulted her i got a better fucking story i got pulled yeah. over by the sru <laughs> Yeah, I have, I have no interesting <laughs> stories about talking to cops. Like, there's nothing interesting. Oh, my my the stories, stories involving cop. police are just sad because it's all domestic no. abuse shit. Nobody wants to hear that. Oh, my... I've, I've had plenty of experiences with the cops. Good, bad, amusing. Um... Okay. Well, I'm going to tell my story, and it's one of two stories. Do you want to hear about my domestic abuse? story well, or do you want to hear about the time that i got extorted by the both I I sure. how about, well, hold on how about before we get through any of that let me first uh, share some abuse as well and that would be in the sense of verbal abuse towards this potential future boots that would be jt fuck you jt now i'm ordering a pizza i'm hungry god damn i want pizza yes <laughs> Barbecue uh, chicken with pineapple. Do it. No, no, no. It, it, no, no they it's, didn't it's, give you my barbecue sauce. No, I'm just getting the. the I will chicken. show you a picture of the barbecue chicken with pineapple that I just ordered tonight. <laughs> We're all God, getting pizza. God damn it all. I ate pizza before uh, the stream, so. Oh, uh, so you you so, had your influence, yeah. I had barbecue chicken pizza. <laughs> <laughs> that actually sounds good. Oh, yeah, it's anyway. great. And it was just add from pineapple. A, add pineapple and it adds pills. the most enormous zing to it. It was actually because it was my uh, niece's birthday today, so. Oh, okay. We went to a pizza place, even though she's one. <laughs> <laughs> the party wasn't for her. Did you, did you take her to Chuck E. Cheese? You know, they I say know. your first birthday and your 101st birthday are almost identical. Oh, You're that brings me to the yourself, story. And you can't tell who anyone at the party is. <laughs> I got kicked out of Chuck E. Cheese once. Um, for did you show up there naked because they really? Yeah, them. I was gonna say for legal reasons, were there police involved? Uh, no, they wouldn't call them. You were stealing um, I'm tickets. I'm not sure from if that's a good or a bad you. thing, but I'm gonna I'm, go ahead and tell that story. Were you um, being in the ball pit? No, he was stealing tickets for kids. Do you no, actually, it was the most retarded reason ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, schmackle. This I missed No, that. I fucking... It was back when I thought that I still loved my ex. And she was kind of... Fucking stupid. <laughs> so, uh, so, here, let me... Let me uh, you give you. Let me Chuck give e. you just a little sliver of advice there. No, I took her to Chuck E. Cheese on a date, and we both got oh kicked out God. because we had no kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's bullshit. Why would you? 
Like, uh, so, Funner, let me give you a little piece of advice, man to man here. Don't go to Chuck E. Cheese on a date. No. They're all crazy. Well, well, I mean, yeah. that's that's kind of a that's not even a man to man thing. That's just a duh and or hello type. No, thing. no, no. But, but what it is 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 hey, he hey. works is Chuck, Chuck E. Cheese for big people. No, no, no. Chuck E. Cheese has arcade games. Any girl mm-hmm. worth her salt wants to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Let me. Hey, let me Dave and guys. Busters has arcade games. Let me. We don't have Chuck alcohol. E. Cheese is cheaper. Good point. But no alcohol. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, Chuck actually, Cheese here's the result. embarrassing thing. I did not know that Chuck E. G's had alcohol at this point in time. The co-host is trying to speak. Oh. All I was going to say is I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if Chuck E. Cheese is just overrun these days with teenagers because they hu- they're huge these fans. These days? That, well, I, well, I say this because those uh, new uh, Five Nights at Freddy's games. <laughs> and oh God! The teens will not shut the fuck up about that, and I guarantee I, they're surrounding those those stores. At least, right? Fun but uh, games. but but any whore. Um, oh. uh, <laughs> so so my advice to uh, to Futter is: <clears throat> no sentence that a man has ever uttered ended well that started with "I think." <laughs> <laughs> Because we uh, all know we didn't. No, no. I got a sentence that's... As a feminist, I agree completely with that sentiment. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't, I'd be disappointed, and I think you'd have to Hashtag relinquish your feminist Miss card. Andry. Oh, God. <laughs> so, oh, oh, God. Did we invite like Miss Andry, Queen? <laughs> I like this. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just taking the piss. Oh, no, no. no. Oh, I'm just giving time. you a hard time. I, I'm just going along with a joke. I don't. I'll go on. And tell Wait, you guys a little shoes bit of a story. Yes, that could okay. have ruined my career. Oh, by the way, ranting. I was in Pinedale, Wyoming. Oh, I know where that is. Why Pinedale? Fuck if I know where Pinedale is. Because I worked there. It's 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 Fuck a place in Wyoming. I had to go that isn't eight blocks north to my hotel room. I got pulled over going home from the brew pub. And the Sublet County Sheriff fucking pulled me over, told me that I committed a crime, did not make me blow, but said if I gave him $275, I could go back to my hotel. So we Uh both took a U-turn back to the Wells Fargo, which is two blocks south of the fucking brew hub. I pulled out 275 bucks, gave it to him, and he gave me an escort back to my hotel. Later did I realize that the front desk girl in Pinedale, Wyoming, not going to say the best Western, but huh. if you really want to look it up, uh, was the girl that was waiting for me and also his fiance. <laughs> oh, oh, oh did a team effort. <laughs> no, what? she was waiting for him. So I got oh, okay. extorted. Plus, it was made worth my while. Huh? Meaning he fucked his girl. I still can't figure out whether or not I'm the winner or loser in that fucking. Um, did you the get answer laid? Is yes. <laughs> did you? Funner? The questions are this: One, did you get laid? Yes, I had to two, actually rent two. another hotel because she worked at Best Western, so I had to two. go two Did blocks you wind down up to in the jail? Hampton. No, you won. So what I'm hearing is, is you got some and you didn't get wind up. You didn't wind yourself up in jail, but it cost me a lot of fucking money. Yeah, well, yeah, but you butter, butter. Let me let me just put it to you this way: I've had a DUI. You got off fucking easy. Yeah. I had you to fight in a DUI, and that was 12 grand US. Yeah, I was going to say, I've, 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 I think I had lost about Colorado plates in, on my truck. in court fines and insurance rates and all that shit. I was probably in it at about 18 grand with my DUI, and yep. I got mine reduced to an impaired, which means I saved about 1,100 in fines. Holy shit. 
<clears throat> yeah, like, you got off fucking easy. An American DUI really? can Man, ruin your like fucking yeah, life. Like, I can never work for Uber. I can never work for any any kind of thing that involves driving as part of my job. Canada I can't work. won't let you in. Yep. Yeah, Canada probably yeah, right. won't take me. Um, I would literally have to, like, forge my identity to move to most countries. Like, I'm pretty much stuck in the U.S. Hey, I thought, uh, I thought Obama was just handing out, uh, oh, bonus left. Yeah, she was oh, saying she has mic troubles. No, oh, okay. but Wyoming didn't have, like, when this happened, a DUI in Wyoming was still a misdemeanor, not a felony. Um, no, 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 mine is a misdemeanor. Then how does it affect you that bad? Um, because dude, America it, has cracked the fuck down on DUIs. Yeah, dude, there, there's there's inherent flaws within the justice system. Anybody who has any kind of criminal record, even be it a, a fucking misdemeanor to some extent, is pretty much like unemployable to all for all extents and purposes for about seven years at minimum. It Holy also doesn't help that fuck. like if you if you're in a really like, I work at a gas station now. Like yeah, dude. I, I, I know. I know people. Um, that I'm are fucking, unemployed. Fuck I was, you. No, but I was on the track to be an engineer. I know I people with doctors station. that are literally unemployed because and they to got a DUI. because it was a different fucking country. That's why I didn't think it was bribing. I did not clue in that it was bribing until the next day when I was telling the rig hands what had happened. <laughs> And they also pointed out the fact that I was out of state plates. You you still got off easy, dude. Yeah. Like you could have gotten fucked. Oh no, I didn't actually realize that much. I thought yep. DUI was a misdemeanor and like just a fine. Yeah, but I but not that. but not the orgasmic kind of fucked. Because that was in 09. Fucked. That was in 09. That wasn't nowadays. That was fucking seven eight years ago well i mean a lot of that law changed in like oh five i know because i was talking to my lawyer when i was going through all that shit um and and he several times referenced like some kind of act of oh five so like people like to make the thanks obama argument that was during the bush administration but i doubt he had any involvement (laughs) so does that make it a better story for mine or um, By the way, I have a Bush administration argument, which almost created a complete hotel bar fight. You know how in the U.S. you have that happy hour? Yeah. Just give free booze? I was down, and this was in Rock Springs, Wyoming. Oh, you know, that's really funny. With a co-worker. I used to live in Rock Springs. My waifu. Rock Springs is a shit town. I was Why wouldn't there, you move to Green River? Half ago. Why wouldn't you move to Green River? Green River is Actually, way that's cooler. exactly where I was. Most people River. have no fucking clue about Green River. Uh, I've got a couple of friends that uh, work for Troma <laughs> out there. So, No, but I had this fucking guy that was working with me. And through this happy hour, and this was during the Bush administration, same time that fucking Dixie Chicks got fucking... Oh God, I remember that. Oh, and he's oh, going around. When Dixie Chicks went political and fucked themselves over. Yeah, but he's going around with a Bush Junior eating a fucking rabbit to a bunch of guys in cowboy hats. Going, what do you think of this? Me. Oh, boy. I said it is bedtime. I'm going to bed, and you are on your own because these fuckers carry guns. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Welcome to America. Welcome to fucking Wyoming, especially if that's Green River. Wyoming? Yeah. No, it was in Rock Springs. It was well, Rock, same same difference. Rock Springs it is the same guy that same place that I actually got. Uh, literally, some guy that tried to abduct me. Look, do you know what do you know what the difference if between? You know where, no, if you know where Green River is, you know where yeah. the travel lodge. Yes, I do. I was literally and in I've Green heard... River a year and a half ago. Like, okay. I was there for two days. Uh, in Rock Springs, you know where the Travel Lodge is? And they have that mm-hmm. big-ass gas station there? Mm-hmm. I had some guy in a fucking Datsun pickup truck honestly well, off me 
$150 to go back into his truck. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's pretty par for the course there, buddy. Welcome to Rock Springs, apparently. Welcome to Rock Springs. Yeah, I've, I've never been to Rock Springs, but it sounds like I would not enjoy myself. Look, let me, let me, no. let me, let me explain something to you here, okay? Have you ever been to Evanston? Yep. Okay. Nope. The entire the entire concourse from Evanston all the way to pretty much Rock Springs, like uh, Mountain Home and, and Green River, it's pretty much all the same fucking thing. Hard working, yeah, poor Billy. sons of bitches. Some of them like to fuck men. Better watch your asshole. <laughs> it's like prepare uh, your asshole. The whole well, town's going in dry. Well, with yep. that, I gotta I gotta head out. I gotta actually get some work done before the night's over. Lies. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> I was I gonna say we tolerate a videos. lot of things on the cunt stream, but lying is not one of them. So, oh, so I did my stories just money. fucking uh, add to Hufflepuff's bank bank or what? Probably. Wait, what? <laughs> All right. Well, I'm heading out. See you guys. Bye. Uh, uh, I got to go. And right, please don't well, take us with you. Yeah, I was going to say. Me. Give me all the subs. Give me all the money and all that stuff. It's like all the subs and shekels for the <laughs> European badger. It, look him up. Hit the like and subscribe button. Yep. Do it now. Pee in his ass. He's that, too. Reward, <laughs> that too. That too. Do not forget to pee in his ass. That is critical to the process. Amen. I want the shekels too. Well, so you're, you're, the you're shekels you're going towards you are going right. towards the charity, not you. We the charity deserves the shekels. Fuck the snake. Okay. I have the best fiance ever. He just popped up, up behind me with a fucking tube of Pringles. <laughs> he, wait, he wait, wait, the same he the same Nazi that salutes with the straight arm. Yes, I'm sorry, he is he, German. He, he left. <laughs> He left the house and got me drunken munchies, and I didn't even notice. I think it would have been better if he would have cut a hole in the bottom of the can. <laughs> no, because then there's no munchies in there. Oh, there's a munchie, all right. Hey, man, oh, I, I did that. I, I, was I did say, that uh, there's, there's a big old salami for you to munch on. I don't know what you're I talking about. I did that before I came on stream. Oh, God. I have to service him first, or else I can't come out of the kitchen. Oh, that's, that's, that's why I can smell the cum on your breath. <laughs> no, that's the wine. Oh, same difference. <laughs> yeah, I mean, wine smells like cum. Let's let's be real. No. White what kind wine? of wine are you drinking, Rath? Yeah. <laughs> I, say, I thought that's what white wine was. Somebody no. has lied to you. Do you drink it out of a tube as well, because that's not how the rest of us drink wine. <laughs> I, I don't drink wine, so I got. Them's, if you got wine problems, I feel sorry for you, son. But just to clarify, Seriously? wine comes in uh, white and red, not white and black. No, no, <laughs> wine comes in bag. I don't yes. drink a lot of uh, yes. wine. Or I box. don't drink a lot of wine. This is about the only wine I'll drink, other than the pink stuff. Well, that's basically well, but the, the, the bag in a box. Our box. Really? No, 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 it is. Oh, Zinfandel. No, it's it's called chocolate. It is fucking delicious. Oh, God. That sounds terrible. It's Fuck the hint hint of What kind of hangover does bottle. that leave you with the morning, little miss? <laughs> None. It's like, what's just a sprinkling of ass and possibly heroin? You'll None. Hey guys, I get out of here hangovers. Drink here's water a... while you're drinking and you won't get a hangover. Here's a question. Shut up. What kind of No, meat... you shut up. What kind Junior. of meat? Junior. Moose. What kind Moose. of meat Moose. does a Moose. priest eat Moose. on Friday? Seven year old sausage. Me. None. <laughs> <laughs> no, the nuns eat each other. Never mind. Yeah, somebody else got it. There we go. Come on. <laughs> that wasn't, wasn't funny because we all know priests fuck little boys. <laughs> yeah, why do you think all altar boys have fucking their hair part in the middle? <laughs> Good little boy. Good little boy. Mother of God. Mother of God. Wait, who was it who did the the voice the voice for that thing? The me. um Huh? No, it was the voiceover for Skeptic. That was in a, me. In a parody video. That was you, Rath? Yeah, it was me. Okay. Alright. Wait, why were you doing the voice for a Canadian? Um <laughs> because we didn't have any cucks readily available. Hey now, because, because he could say a hey, and sorry. Like well, anyone can do that given enough alcohol. 
<laughs> I Shut am up. I have never seen me drink punch. alcohol, Rap. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> I, I am determined to just go and hang out with a toucan one night and be like, oh, hey, Greg. Like, oh, for fuck's sake. Just get a straw. Nobody will ever have to watch you drink. <laughs> it, I, I just okay. like making him do spit takes. As That's really Canadian, what it comes down to. As a Canadian, I'm you are sorry. Instantly a cock. I'm I sorry. Don't Good start. I <laughs> Good start. As a Canadian, I'm sorry. Fuck up, JT. I already fucking tweeted your charity to my MLA. And I you make that sound like it's impressive. <laughs> and it is. Because he's also a minister. MLA? Uh, what? You say MLA? Minister, wait a minute, minister looking yeah. ass? Is that what that stands for? Yeah, no. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> no, my MLA is also the Minister of uh, Municipal Affairs. Oh, got it. I was like, what the hell is an ML? I'm so com I've had too much beer. Yeah, I was going to say, like, when you said MLA, I was kind of like, is that like some tricky phrasing for multi level marketing? No, I'm sure that's a fucking formatting system for citations and essays. I thought he was Asian. No. And that's IPA. MRA. No, no, no. MLA is, is Modern Language Association. No, 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 no. IPA is the beer that you drink when you want, to, when you want your taste buds and your liver to suffer. <laughs> you know what really fucking pisses me off? My case of beer is getting empty. Yeah, dude, well, mine, mine is starting to run out, and I don't think I have enough for another. I'm I'm already out. So, uh, uh, fuck you. Oh, and fuck you. And judging you. by you not being the cool part of Canada, you can't There order are more. no cool parts of Canada. Stop <laughs> lying to people. <laughs> Shut up, ah. Cutler. <laughs> Shut up, I was going to say, he's, he's trying to make a living me. as a tourism promoter. Don't ruin his <laughs> dreams, Anon. <laughs> no, Seriously, don't I'm go to Canada, you guys. Don't listen, don't listen to this asshole. Canada sucks. Shut unless, up, you wanna, unless you want to, unless you want to see moose. <laughs> we're, 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 we're banking on Canada sucking all the dick. Well, yeah, I oh. mean, have you seen our prime minister? Oh, fuck off. <laughs> well, I mean, did, you, did you see the way our president's daughter eyed your prime minister? Oh. Dude, I, I, I've, got, I've got a feeling there's going to be some international babies going. I wish a woman looked at me the way she looked at Justin Trudeau. God damn. Uh, I, I don't know. That's the dream. I don't know to find, that. It's to find a big to the blonde to look at you the way Ivanka looks at Justin. What'd you say? I don't. I said that's the dream is to find a big to the blonde that looks at you the oh, same yeah. way Ivanka looks at Justin. Yep. I don't know. I like Kavanka. Oh, dude, I would, I would have hit that like a freight train. <laughs> no, I don't think Kavanka looked at Justin with lust. I, I disagree. I he looked at her, him, whatever his <laughs> gender is. Close enough. I mean, he probably, with, he probably identifies as a bitch. Well, no, I think she looked at it like. Are you fucking serious? No, no, those were those were like I don't care what's coming out of your mouth. I know what's going in mine eyes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think you got that backwards. Like I don't, I don't care. I don't, what... I don't think she gave a flying fuck about what was coming out of his mouth. I think I think she wanted herself some of that Canadian bacon. If you know what I'm saying. Oh uh... man, well, she would have done it in front of the cameras. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't know, but the oh, yeah. she would have she would have like, had with an American was fucking some chick that had a Mexican baby. So like, oh, like we have she would have rode like, like let's just say that like she would have rode him like fucking Schmeckle rides a moose every week. No, 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 like Schmeckle rides my nana. Oh no. um, did I fucking stutter? Oh, hey. <laughs> my Nana is many That's things, fine. but she is not a moose. <laughs> no, she just gets fucked by them. Well, I mean, Schmeckle's an ape, not a moose, so. Well, and a moose cock is way degenerate. bigger than an ape cock, so exactly. Schmeckle's already out the running. <laughs> I'm pretty yeah, sure it's she funny when when Samaj, when Samaj is muted, it looks like there's a little cum stain on his lip. Oh. There always is a cum stain on Schmaj's lip. 
Well, I mean, at least he doesn't have a pink cum stain on his cheek like Smackle. Well, yeah, that's that's entirely different. You did that on purpose, way, didn't you? By the way, Smaz, unmute yourself. He's not muted. He's, he's he's too busy taking in them cummies. I he's, just heard he's it. He's playing with his tanga eggs. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, orange. No, orange won the tanga egg. Not Smaz. Oh God. Why? Oh God. <laughs> I love how far that snowballed out of my control. I'm so glad I introduced Tanga Eggs to the internet. It was like the best thing I've done ever <laughs> since coming on YouTube. It, was, it, like, it snowballed. Wait a minute, so wait a minute. You much. came on YouTube. Where's the video link? Well, that's Pornhub. Ah. Uh... Oh, you got a Pornhub channel? No. <laughs> Drop me a link. <laughs> no, but, but her fiance is. Actually, does. no, wait, wait, wait. Drop yeah. me a link. Plus your family name, so I can double check my family tree before I look at it. Oh God! <laughs> well, yeah, my, I mean, my, you, my you got, you're both Canadian. You're related. It's got a whole page full of uh, of scat porn if you're into it. S seriously though, hey, do you have any not idea? Not really, but I'll shit on your face. <laughs> any idea how concerning it is as a guy who's adopted? All right, to be like. Well, I don't know if this is the case. I'm just going to go as far away from fucking... All right, did you have any family code on fucking Newfoundland or Ireland? No. Okay. Okay, I got two answers for you to that. One. Incest is I'm incest. sorry. And two. You're fucked. <laughs> Get the fuck out of our country. Go to America. Nobody wants you. <laughs> he left. <laughs> It's okay. I'd rather have him here than up with you guys. We'll arm him and then send him back as a ticking time bomb. Right, is, right. He's no. he's gonna be an American sleeper cell. Yeah, he's he's the new Canadian army. By the way, um, by the way, guys, Eight uh, Bit said that he he would love to join, but that he is currently preparing Too for a party for an excuse. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's he's about to go to a party show. in which hair will be washed. So. Uh, that's, I'm that's sure sounded, it sounded pretty exciting. I'm sure that's keyword for keys will go into this bowl. He Dude, needs I, to shave I, his I fucking said hair crush. washing party. It, the the all, the joking about it being an excuse thing was a little little bit heavy handed there, but but very observant of you, there, Futter. Seriously, he needs to trim Thanks, his Thanks, Your support in my alcoholism. <laughs> He's outstanding. Well, I mean, if I don't do it, then who will? Nobody else will. Who will, who will else help get Putter drunk? I need to do another drunk and obnoxious on my channel. <laughs> um, Isn't that what we're doing right now? <laughs> no, I did I'm a... Not yep. Listen to me. I did a six and a half hour stream on <sighs> my channel where all we did was drink, and it was fucking awesome. Uh... Little Miss, send me a dr drop me a link to what? I'll subscribe. No, fuck you. <laughs> Any channel that is drunk you. and obnoxious. <laughs> my videos are, we are not, not My you videos are not funny. That's why she doesn't want your subscription? You're fucking <laughs> worthless. Like, yes, a woman might be worth like a quarter of a man, but a Canadian man is worth a quarter of a real woman. I'm a Canadian too, and a ginger. What the fuck does that make me? You're worthless. worthless. Yeah, it's like yeah, less, I was gonna say, less uh, than worthless. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, guys, um, you owe us money. I do. So let me let me uh, clarify something that was said on a quote unquote news station once. Um, Anna Kasparian was actually talking to all of Canada when she said, "I'm fucking better than you because she's American." <laughs> <laughs> Can I resend my thing that I was gonna fuck her with? I That's hope Anna Kasparian, giant. not Anita Sarkeesian. You're, 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 oh, okay. As you say, you're, uh, you're there. getting your, your, yeah, you're getting people all mixed up. Okay, then fuck that bitch. <laughs> or don't. Anyway, cunts, I think we'll bring this one to an end. Yeah, no, we, no, we, we lost, we lost half bitch. the guests. Now just fuck it. <laughs> all right, so show yourselves quickly. We'll start with. The guy who's clearly more drunk than anybody, myself <laughs> included, 
has ever been on the cunt stream. <laughs> Fuck you, I'm not that drunk. But I'm Butternut. <laughs> oh wait, were you talking that, to Carl? That name just like... <laughs> well, whether we were talking about Carl or not, it's now about you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you owned the extra drunk label, so... <laughs> hey, it's Molson. So it's piss water anyway. <laughs> Actually, it's Keystone Light, but I'm proud of Oh, God, dude. Keystone Light. <laughs> if you're going to oh. kill yourself, just drink bleach like a normal person. All right. I tried that. Please. Then I watched Milo Stewart. And you survived? I'm impressed. Canadian power, bitch. The, the Milo great. Stewart part, not the bleach. Canadian bleach is just really cheap beer. <laughs> and Indian it's like American beer that's... to us. That's right. All right, now the kitty cunt. Um, I'm Carl. I'm an asshole. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, Don't the watch my videos. Vagina. Don't do anything. <laughs> just, just go fuck yourself. <laughs> Well, I mean, he just took my slot, so it's okay. <laughs> no, your slot's the whole reason you're here, Don. <laughs> well, I mean... That's the only had... thing you have any worth with. That's true. Hey, no, no, no. Did you see? I, I made cookies for Omegon. That was a thing. I oh, can make yeah, cookies. Sorry. sorry I yes. I be disparaging towards your two things that okay. make you worthwhile. Yeah. Cookies are fucking important. That's like double the one. It, I can share... Just drop the Canadian card and be done with it, okay? I can Little share miss? the cookies. Yeah, say okay. drop the Canadian card, eh? Drop the cookies and no one get hurt. I'm Little Miss Anonymous and I am not this funny on my own channel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all right, Anon. Looks aren't everything. It's true. I know. I should do a half face reveal on this channel. Isn't that a half fa face reveal already? <laughs> Have you seen my videos? <laughs> no. Like, the no, rest of her face is I covered by her, her pop filter. Yes. <laughs> I cover as much of my face as I can with it, with things. I should get, you know what? I need to get a big black dildo and use that. <laughs> get a Leroy? Get a Leroy. <laughs> I should ask Jeff where he got his. Uh, uh, that's wild by Tanuki. His yeah, say, I think Tanuki sent it to him? I'm pretty sure it was Tanuki. If not, Would Tanuki not shock me. Did. Would not shock me if it was Tanuki. Well, I don't know. Like I said, I, I know Tanuki, Tanuki either knows who sent it or sent it. Did Tanuki send Mr. Wiggles? I don't remember. I know that, that Tanuki sent a few things, including a butt plug. A couple huh. of dildos. I don't remember which ones, though. A friend of mine got a uh, blueberry-scented butt plug for his birthday one year. Did it smell smells like blueberries like after he has done using it? <laughs> I don't think he ever used it. I'm I'm a little disappointed. Why did you smell but, it? Uh, because he weighs 325 pounds, and if he actually used it, it probably never would have come back out. Danger zone. And who knows if he would have hit the asshole or just shame. A anyway. body shame, <laughs> body shame. It's too many rolls. All I'm right, I think we should finish chilling so we can take this shit off air. <laughs> oh come on, no! Now we're on to blueberry scented butt plugs. Everybody wants to watch it now. <laughs> <laughs> Mother of God. <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> you almost had me again, Wrath, you fucking cunt. <laughs> Dude, it is it is my life goal to to make you spit take more than more times than you have subscribers. That's like that's Bane's main fucking goal with me is to get something out my nose on stream, but he still hasn't managed to do it. Close, but not quite. I still haven't streamed with Bane, the bastard. That's because I'm his favorite. <laughs> uh, actually, Bane's kind of an asshole. I said hi to him once in a chat. And he's like, do I know this guy? Why is he saying hi to me? He's just very sarcastic. You get used to it. I talk, okay, to, him, so, I talk so, to him every um, day and he still says that to me. <laughs> so uh, we're, we're going to show for Schmeckle because he's doing pizza stuff. Um, yeah, that, that snow nigger don't need no shilling. 
So, uh, so just remember, don't don't subscribe to Schmeckle. Don't follow his channel. Don't follow him in Twitter. Um, don't vote for Smaj either. And don't vote for Smaj on the Smaj versus Schmeckle competition. He's Schmaj, yeah, and some Smaj is Samaj, shit. Samaj is all for the carbon tax. So take yeah, him off YouTube. You know what? Samaj I, you is for carbon tax. Funny. So so hashtag deplatform Samaj. He's, no, he's yeah, currently no. muted himself. Port. Samaj. But uh, mm. uh, Schmeckle could unmute him, and we could find out what the fuck he's doing right now. <laughs> Can Schmeckle unmute him? Yeah. <laughs> Schmeckle. I, 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 okay, this is just how I imagine what's play. going on on Samaj's side. Oh, yeah, you're a dirty pizza, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> like, he has all the control. He can also turn people's cameras on. This is why whenever oh, I'm on a stream, I unplug mine. <laughs> Yeah, say Schmeckle, I, I, Schmeckle I will I will cut you. My camera on. Like I will cut you, motherfucker. <laughs> if you turn my camera what on. Samaj looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Samaj Where face did reveal. He go? Uh he's doing pizza things. That's what he said in the um in the DM chain that's just me, Schmeckle, and Samaj. We call it the three way. Feel fucking left out. It's you not don't a three-way if there's four that. people. No, then it's an orgy. That's true. Uh, but, it depends. Uh, we might it have depends. to punch uh, the mister there. He'd be pretty pissed if we were going after his woman. Plus, I hear he's a Nazi. He is a Nazi. Do you hear it's okay to hit them now? Yeah, I actually, I'm, I'm a little worried about him every time he leaves the house since the whole punching Nazis thing. See, I figured that just became a kinky element in bed for you guys, but whatever. Well, we are allowed to hit each other. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rath, show yourself real quick. I am the Wrath of Controversy, the internet's second favorite sin, so once you're done testing out them Tanga eggs on Jason Brazil's channel, come check me out. And now, to close it down, Futternut, say something like you've been saying all night. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Them's was I'm a sentence. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fucking <laughs> Canadian. And that's how and that's how it ends, kids. <laughs>